to the ground now And somehow I feel like you don't know me Shook me to the ground now I don't even know how Brought me to a life that you never showed me Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, welcome. My name is Resorty, and to you, one and all, I say, hello, friends. How's it going? Good to see you. I hope you're having a lovely day wherever you are. Over here in Tokyo, it's a cool morning, and it's cool being with you, too. Uh, to get this out of the way, I'm quitting streaming. April Fools. All right, that's all the April Fools content for today, I promise. What a good time it is, though. I've already been caught by two April Fools tricks. Uh, I forgot that the day had already come. I forgot that uh, people were out there trying to trick me for this and that. And so I will show you the ones that I've been tricked by in just a little bit. Now, traditionally, we have done an April Fool's stream, uh, usually playing some kind of uh, very unusual game, namely the Stanley Parable art ending, in which you push two buttons and make lots of noise for four hours straight. Today, we decided not to do that. My apologies for sure. Uh, with that said... Um, I thought about doing a different April Fool's Day stream. I thought, first of all, we could do all crosswords all the time, but I realized I'd get pretty exhausted doing that, so I decided against that one too. And then after that, I thought it might be delightful to play Crusader Kings... Crusader Kings 1. <laughs> so, <laughs> and I looked at it, I looked at the graphics and said, man, do I really want to subject myself to that? And so I decided against it. Decided against it. We're just going to do a normal stream today. If you want to come in and tell me about April Fool's jokes that got you or that you thought were delightful, uh, that would be wonderful. I'd be glad to see anything that you're aware of. I know a lot of websites and uh, communities will often pull silly little jokes here and there. And, uh, and they're, they're charming in their way. As long as they're not hurting anybody, I, I do appreciate that quite a bit. Uh, hello to you, Garvin. Hello to you, Fist Leader. How's it going, Steve? Jim, a pleasure. Fernandez, good morning or good evening, I suppose. Hello to you, Slivers. Hello, everybody. What's up today, Jarlris? Welcome, welcome. Uh, G Fuel, we're selling gaming diapers today. <laughs> Uh, if, you, if you're able to handle one end with G Fuel, why not the other end too? That is pretty ridiculous. I've not seen that one at all. It's true, Pepper. No endless goodbye horses today. It's time for a new era in in uh, a resorty stream, I suppose. Yeah, last April 1st was pretty, pretty bad. And so I'm now uh, having trauma reactions against it. So one of these days we'll play more, but, but not anytime soon. <laughs> Um, I'll show you the one April Fool's uh, shtick that got me, and it made me feel a glimmer of hope in this sad and dark world. So the uh, one that got me yesterday was on Reddit, of course, or today rather it got me on uh, Reddit, and it was on uh, Paradox Plaza, I believe. <sighs> it's this one right here. Patch 2.1 of Improtor announced. Awe. Due to renewed interest by our loyal fans, Paradox Interactive has decided to resume development on Improtor Rome. I saw this and I said to myself, we did it! I was part of the community push to help Improtor get its numbers up to see what happens. And we succeeded! And I didn't actually understand it was an April Fool's Day joke until I clicked into the comments. And uh, the very first comment, let's see if it's still the same thing. The first comment was, no, it wasn't this. It was not referring to April uh, Fool's Day joke. It was something like, wow, it's so amazing. I can't wait to play. And so actually, me too, me too. This is amazing, the best thing ever. And I kept scrolling down and eventually there's one like this also. Uh, but yes, this is the one that really, really, really got me. Uh, other gaming communities have done other ones. Uh, for example, RimWorld here, you know, the top post there is, um, Microsoft buys RimWorld for $2.5 billion. Now, this amount of money is just too high. 
Like, had they made this a smaller number, I might have accepted it uh, for at least a second. Now, with that said, with that said, uh, I don't think that Tynan uh, would ever want to get con creative control of this game, and I don't see what value Microsoft would have in buying it. So this one, I'm like, eh, no, because I'd already been stung by Imperator. Having been stung by Imperator, I would never, ever believe anything ever again. <laughs> so today, anyone who comes to the chat and says like, hey, Resorty, this happened today, I will immediately think, no, they would not. Absolutely not. You give control for a lot of things for 2.5 billion? I don't know. I don't know Tynan personally, but from all of his writing, it seems like having uh, control of his stories and uh, making the game role he wants seems very important to him. Um, and of course, Rimworld is definitely paying the bills. It's been a very you know, smash success in a lot of ways and give you the kind of freedom he wanted. So I don't know. I don't dare speak for the man, but have you seen any other good April Fool's Day jokes? I think traditionally Reddit has had something they're doing. Uh, but I don't know if this year they're doing anything. Now that they're uh, owned by uh, the good people of the world, have they had a stock IPO? I think they're not doing anything fun this year, unfortunately. That's too bad. That's too bad. Ripple on Game Pass was a huge selling point for Game Pass? Maybe so. I still have not checked out um, Game Pass at all, but I've heard such good stories about it. Such good stories about people able to... Uh, yeah, people able to uh, try games they wouldn't play otherwise in a way of getting a little bit of money for the developers for each play, and that seems pretty darn good. Uh, Red April Fools have become garbage the last couple of years. Uh, I will never forget the high point of Reddit April Fool's Day jokes, the button. If you were not around for it, it was a, uh, a game in which there was a button that every time it was pushed put a couple number of seconds on some timer. And uh, if no one were to click the button, then the timer would hit zero, the game would be over. And it kept going, kept going. Every account got one push, and uh, there was then a determination of like how close to zero it had gotten before someone pushed the button. And I think people could push it and give more and more numbers, higher and higher count away. Oh, every time they pushed it, it was set to 60. That's what it was. It was set to 60 every time. And then count out zero. So I loved this so much. So much so that I joined a group called the Knights of the Button. And our goal was to keep that button going as long as possible. After many, many users had already clicked, we had pledged ourselves to only clicking if the number got down below one. So that last time we had one and zero. And we realized, of course, that with human error being what it is, is there any possible way to be absolutely sure you'd push between one and zero? No. So a guy made a program that would take um, various kinds of, of unused accounts, uh, people's alts and so on, people's alts they'd used from one post years ago, uh, take the, these and then use a bot to have that account push the last second. And this was absolutely wonderful. And then someone, I say me, got a good idea. <clears throat> Apparently, on the dark web, <laughs> there are people who will sell you hundreds, thousands of uh, accounts that are um, uh, that have been botted into creation. These accounts can be used for like upvote farming and so on. And so someone got a clever idea of going to the dark web and buying as many accounts as possible on his little grad school budget and then giving these accounts over to um, over to the guy who's running the button bot to keep the thing pushing as long as possible. And then someone got the clever idea of explaining how many accounts I buy, about 10,000. Someone got the clever idea of explaining our strategy publicly because there's a second group called the Assassins of the Button. And the Assassins of the Button only wanted to make the button stop at all costs. And so we were explaining publicly with, uh, the, the attempts we were making. And I sent a message uh, to the developer of the button explaining what I had done. And he proceeded to ban all of my accounts. <laughs> and he sent me an apology letter later. But uh, when the bot pushed the button, uh, when, when the program ordered a bot to push the button, it didn't exist. That's how the button died. Now... I had a nice conversation with the fellow who um, who banned all my beloved purchase bots, and he said he was very sorry, he should have talked to me more, et cetera, et cetera. But here's the punchline of the story. 
uh, this dev has now gone on to do something new and exciting. This dev's name is Josh Wardle, and he's the one who made Wordle. That's my brush with fame. What I said from Reddit admins when I admitted to buying a console dark web, I thought it was legit, because they seem to have bought, bought into, here are lots and lots of ways that you can keep the button going. We tried lots of uh, absurd things, like using a, a program to control other people's uh, accounts, and that was unfortunate. Like, he allowed that, which is kind of botting is normally not permitted. It's like, ah, I'd be good. Uh, I was going to cause the button collapse. It wasn't just me. It wasn't just me. It was me and the dev who made the uh, program that pushed the button at last second. But yes, uh, if you go back and find the account names, I am one of those. Yes, indeed. There you go, team. That's my little bit of Reddit lore from the April Fool's Day experiment approximately, pff, gosh, 10, 12 years ago now. It was a lovely, lovely time, and I very much enjoyed that, and uh, it's my little contribution to internet history, along with doing the resorty thing, I suppose. Um, other than that, I haven't seen any other April Fool's Day uh, activities. I, I wonder if, if there's less appetite for them than there used to be. Uh, I wonder if more people who go to websites looking for news, looking for information, uh, don't tolerate uh, the random uh, fake story in the way we may have 10 years ago. Uh, I also do kind of wonder if, um, yeah, I do also kind of wonder if people um, just don't feel in the mood for it this year. Like, the past couple of years, I guess COVID time especially, people have been kind of bummed out. <laughs> There's a general malaise in the culture and so on. And so I do kind of wonder if people, yeah, if people uh, got, got over the idea of public joy, maybe, or public pranking amusement. It's hard to say, hard to say. Speaking of awful things that happen on April 1st that aren't pranks, my laptop has stopped working. <laughs> so <laughs> this morning I sat down with my cup of coffee to check my email and respond to some students, and up came the blue screen of death with some like error handling threads. And so I restarted my computer like a good person should. And then up came another warning of like a uh, clock watcher or something. And I said to myself, okay, have we downloaded any viruses recently? Have we downloaded any viruses? And I'm pretty sure no. Uh, I'm pretty sure I haven't downloaded anything at all recently, other than just, you know, videos I'm watching on YouTube or whatever. Um, and so that was, that was pretty unfortunate. And so uh, after three or four errors, uh, the Windows finally popped up with a, we've used, what's it called, like, like BitLocker or something? Like we've locked down your, your data and now you need to go to the Windows account page and pull up your data unlock code. Initially I thought, oh, this is a virus, this is a scam, but no, it's a real thing apparently. And so I went through that process and got my magic code to unlock the machine. And uh, with the data returned to us, it's still not getting past the blue screen. So that's, that's good. <laughs> I'm at the point now where I'm relatively sure I have to reinstall Windows, which is okay. It'll be fine, it'll be fine. Uh, there's not that much on the computer that is not totally uh, recoverable. There, there are a few things I think only exist there, but none of it's super sentimental and important. Things I can recreate fairly easily and maybe losing some of them like my, like my default syllabus template would be a good thing as I'm able to uh, remake and, and fix some of the things I probably should have fixed <laughs> years ago. But there we go. I'll let you know how it's going as days go by, but unexpected computer problems uh, are way up there in stress-causing activities. Uh, I'm very glad I learned this on a day when I'm not teaching uh, because, yeah, were I teaching today and needed materials off that computer and I could not get them, you would have no stream today as I'd be panicking, running around trying to rewrite things. Could University IT help me? It's not a university computer, um, so I suspect not. Now, I could talk to University IT and say, like, hey, buddies, you want to be buddies? I'll give you some coffee or a, tree, a chocolate chip cookie and see if they're willing to help me that way. But I think I'm okay. I've been uh, doing the Googling on one computer while doing things on the other computer, and I, I feel fairly confident in my ability to Google things. And I'm relatively sure it's not a hardware problem, but it could be. If it is, I have no hope for fixing it, of course, because it's a laptop, but we'll see. The laptop's not that old. I probably bought it a year and a half ago or so, and the idea of it being uh, past its due date by now or 
out of uh, out of functionality is absolutely unacceptable because it's had no trauma. I haven't dropped it on the floor. I've treated it with love and care and respect. Its primary purpose is email. Uh, Nam's response to this is, why don't you have an apple? <laughs> if you have an apple, you can just take it to the geniuses and the geniuses will fix it. And uh, yeah, I like, I like doing the work myself. I've said this a number of times before that I grew up putting computers together with my grandfather and learning a lot about how, how it actually worked as opposed to just using it. And that was, that was an important formative experience for me. So I am uh, I'm very hopeful, I guess, very hopeful that I'll figure this one out or at least make it work again by reinstalling Windows. So we'll see, we'll see, we'll see. Uh, bribe them with channel points for a certain Twitch streamer? That's a good point. I'll give you 10 million resorty bucks if you can fix my laptop. <laughs> but no, it's fine. I think I may even have the OneDrive thing turned on, so there is some possibility that all of my old data will come charging back real soon. Hello, gamer Jen. You do IT favors or cookies? All right. I'm not sure if I can send cookies internationally anymore. I think, uh... Yeah, I think it's possible for me to, to to send you the recipe for cookies and you make them yourself and I'll clap when you're done. <laughs> Have made proper backups. Um, like, in the way of pushing the please back up now button, absolutely not. Like, this is something my grandfather was so, so good at. My grandfather was amazing at keeping backups. I think once a week, he would have this external hard drive, and he'd run some program uh, through the command prompt and back up everything. Uh, and he did this consistently for years and years and years. Uh, but I myself, if Windows has it activated already, sure. But no, I do not take time to back up my computer. Uh, allow me to, to admit to other uh, computer sins live on stream. Let's see. I only use one password on all the websites. That password written down on a sheet of paper. Uh, Two-factor authentication. What's that? Let's see what else I come up with here. <laughs> let's see, let's see. <laughs> a landslide. You want to know, do I give channel points away? Absolutely. Exclamation point, uh, channel points. You can see all the channel points you have. No, 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 I was lying. I have many, many passwords and none of them are written down because I definitely use LastPass. Absolutely, all of it's in LastPass. <laughs> it's not, it's all in here somewhere, all in here somewhere until the day eventually my memory slips and I can't log into anything and that'll be a very sad day. <laughs> oh my goodness, so many of you have so many channel points. That's pretty imp uh, pretty impressive. You all are truly resorty fans. Thank you for your <laughs> showing off your channel points. <laughs> yeah, I think yesterday someone came in and said how much they appreciate that I don't have actual channel points in this channel. Uh, as I said previously, I think about using them occasionally. I think to myself, well, gosh, we could do great things with channel points and they'd promote people to stay and watch because then they can make me do things. But I still can't come up with any good channel point redemptions. Uh, some people have like millions and mil million, million channel po millions and millions of channel points to ban a mod or some kind of, yeah, I don't know, some kind of uh, like make the streamer eat some ugly food. I don't, I don't, it's just not for me. So probably never any channel points here. That said, this morning I got an email saying I have been selected for a new Twitch feature. This is something they announced uh, about six months ago, I think. And this... Uh, yeah, this, uh, this event is the Enhanced Broadcasting, I think they call it. Enhanced Broadcasting, which allows a, a streamer to encode their broadcast at multiple levels simultaneously, uh, so that I think I could send out even higher bitrate than I'm doing right now, so you can see all of my pores more clearly. Um, and I think it also allows people to have more easily lower quality video feeds for people who have slower connections. Now I know that Twitch already does some of this, but apparently it's better if I do it. Why is that? I don't know. <laughs> I got no idea other than sure my graphics card has some space for processing. It must be fine. We'll see how much it, lo uh, how much it lags everything on the way. We'll probably try tomorrow though, and if it doesn't work well, we'll just cancel it. But for now, we'll give it a shot, give it a shot. Um, so they don't have to pay for the chance coding. It, it is possible. I do wonder if eventually they'll require everyone to do the uh, multiple encoding broadcast on their end and stop doing transcoding on their end. Uh, but who knows? Who knows? What's less of a broadcast than narrow cast? That's right. We have one tiny little strip in the middle. You can see my nose, my tie, and that's all you get. 
Uh, maybe we could do a channel points to last one to give a crossword hint. I think there are some strategy game streamers who will say for a certain number of channel points, you can backseat me for three messages. <laughs> and I do find this kind of delightful. Uh, I think it would only be delightful though, if people used it in the right spirit. Like it was a funny thing as opposed to look here, nerd, you're doing it all wrong. <laughs> <laughs> but it could be, it could be three, uh, three channel, uh, three, uh, messages of backseating could be okay. Hey, Ramrod, great day in League 2 today. It's true, it's true. Uh, what, uh, Stockport ended up with a draw, I believe, or MK Dons did maybe? Whichever way, Wrexham is coming to the end of the season with only six matches left to go in a pretty fine position for promotion. There's still some possibilities of winning the league, but I'm looking forward to, uh, tomorrow's match. Should be good. And then also looking forward to uh, the rest of the season. But absolutely right. I'm excited to uh, see how Wrexham does as we're finishing things up. Uh, but soon enough, soon enough, my friends, it'll be the end of football season. Two months with no Wrexham. What am I going to do? What will I do here? I don't know. I don't, I don't know how I'm going to fill my time. I'll have to spend time watching like old Wrexham matches from the 80s and saying, ah, oh, friends, I watched an amazing Wrexham match from 1987. You want to hear about it? <laughs> I just do football manager for two months. <laughs> I like that idea. I like the idea of a football manager to fill the sadness. Uh, you can't watch other games there. Oh, too bad, Lancelot. But yeah, it was amazing they beat the first place team, uh, Mansfield, by two scores. Now, one of those scores probably should not have been, but with that said, it was an exciting match, and glad to see Wrexham doing well, as always, as always, as always. Uh, put through the best April Fool's stream you've ever seen, or best April Fool's joke you've ever seen, was Adult Swim live streaming season one of Smiling Friends with Puppets. I don't know what most of those words mean. <laughs> most notably, I don't know what Smiling Friends is. Uh, I'm guessing it's some cartoon, though, and they acted out the cartoon with hand puppets? Uh, absolutely delightful. That's a great April Fool's prank, right? Because it's not hurting anybody. It's obviously uh, a little silly. It's obviously something that people have put some time and effort into. And I think that's pretty great. It's absolutely pretty great. For sure, for sure. Uh, if people give five gift subs, they can give me one tip. I like that. I like that. I think I joked years and years back. Like, if you give me money, you can tell me what to do with my life. <laughs> but... I think the days of, of trying to farm gift subs are over. Once upon a time, I tried very hard. More gift subs, more good. But these days, I enjoy just hanging out with y'all, having a good time. That said, did you see the big news in in giving Twitch money uh, recently? I saw this over on the Discord. It was absolutely amazing. Uh, some streamer apparently got 56,000 gift subs over the course of a, a small period of time and like $80,000 worth of bits. <laughs> All this in, in only a uh, half hour's time, perhaps, which is insane, insane amount of money. Uh, but, but it's cool to see this happening for someone who's recently grown quite a bit, um, a person who broadcasts programming. And that is, that is an amazing, amazing thing. Amazing thing to see that much support happening and amazing thing to, yeah, amazing thing to see uh, just a community being so darn generous to someone uh, who, who, again, I think deserves it in some way. They're doing very, very well with themselves and putting good content on. Hello, 3Demon. Happy Monday, Tuesday to you also. It's a Tuesday here, but happy one for you. Uh, friends, the first ad break is coming straight away. On the other side of this ad break, we'll talk a little bit more and then do some video gaming, playing some Millennia. Uh, for right now, though, thank you for being here. If you watch the ads, I appreciate it. If you hang out and talk with me, I appreciate that, too. Just thanks for being here on this lovely day. It's nice to start with some good energy, some good fun, and I'm very glad to be here with you for sure. Exactly, Blazing Polari. Uh, Pirate Software is the name of the streamer who had the absolutely insane biggest uh, gift sub run of all time. That is crazy. Hello, Klaus. You really enjoyed an April Fool's joke on Twitch. A streamer had the starting stream soon uh, scene for seven hours. <laughs> uh, I do kind of enjoy that. I think I'd be sad not to stream, though. Like, on the one hand, ha ha ha, he he he. And if, if um, April 1st lined up with my normal day off, I would probably go in for that kind of thing. But no, I'd be really sad to be just, like, hanging out and watch people go, oh, and a stream starting, and then be kind of bummed that uh, it's not happening. 
April 1st, where's the 24-7 crossword stream? I realize my little brain cannot take it. I, I realize that it would be good fun for about an hour, but then I have three more hours of of trying to fill it with crossword. I would get so tired. Now, maybe that's good. Maybe I should suffer for the glory of the April 1st stream, but uh, uh, possibly not. Possibly not, because I do also need to grade this evening. I told my students I'd give their... Uh, exams back by Friday. It is currently Tuesday, so got to grade about 10 more exams each day because I had a problem over the past weekend of not doing any grading at all. <laughs> Usually when I do the, uh, you know, seven days of grading, I'll give it back to you with seven days. It would be, you know, fine. I only do seven or so, six or so exams a day, but I did none over the weekend, and so I need to do quite a bit now. And that'd be okay. I could pay a resorty impersonator to do my stream. <laughs> I, this is uh, unimitable. Inimitable? Yeah, inimitable. No one can be a resorty. You think it's just putting on some glasses and a necktie? No, no, no. That person have to go to grad school. That person have to. Uh, uh, noms could do it, I suppose. I suppose my wife could do it. Uh, she just doesn't like streaming solo all that much. She feels tremendous pressure on her to come up with jokes as the. Um, as the stream goes on, she has trouble just playing the video game and, and feeling engaging that way. So, I don't know. I don't know. Maybe some years I can convince Noms to stream for me on April 1st. But I think she comfortably says, no resorty, that's your thing. And that's fine. Like, in the same way that I wouldn't want to take over her hobbies, she perhaps wouldn't want to take over mine. And that's okay. It's okay the way it is. Uh, Sally, you want to see the 32 worlds at once? I've actually done this. I've been doing some of these off stream. It's a ridiculous take on the Wordle format in which you do genuinely 32 Wordles simultaneously. And you can make some mistakes uh, just uh, while you're getting your footing on the game. But if you make too many mistakes, you just lose. Maybe during the ad breaks today, we should go ahead and do the Duo Trigordle. Is that how it's pronounced? I don't know how this thing is pronounced. D-U-O-T-R-I-G-O-R-D-L-E. Duo Trigordle? Sure, why not? <laughs> Maybe we'll try that at the next ad break. We'll see, we'll see, we'll see. Anyway, I think that's all my stories. I hope you have enjoyed the intro. Um, I think there are some games coming out soon that I need to check out. I don't recall what any of them are right now, but I've gotten a couple emails about new strategy simulation games coming soon. We also have the upcoming DLCs for Stellaris. They have played DLC for uh, Victoria. There's a lot of... A lot of things coming out soon. For right now, though, I'm locked in to just our good friend Millennia. We are in the sixth age, I believe, out of a total of eight ages, maybe nine ages. So by the end of this week, we should have finished at least one playthrough of Millennia. Uh, today, I had some big ideas for how we could possibly... Uh, yeah, how we could possibly improve our playthrough by specializing our cities a little bit more. Uh, I think as I started developing new cities, I thought of them as being largely independent, just trying to generate what they needed, where they are. Might be a fine better idea to say, okay, this area is for farming, this area is for luxury, and then have them exchange things a little bit more than just hyper, uh, hyper, uh, not hyper specializing. What's the opposite of hyper specializing? General, excuse me, generalizing uh, throughout. That's how it goes. Hey, Flux is good seeing you. Do I teach in Japanese or English? I teach in English. Yeah, my Japanese is improving every day. I've been fairly good at practicing most days, uh, but no, I'm, I'm nowhere near lecturing in Japanese level. Uh, nor do I think I ever will be able to. I could probably at some day write a lecture in Japanese and then read it out loud, but I just don't think fast at all in Japanese. I have to put together every sentence in a really machine-like way. Uh, it is it is not a joy to speak. That said, I have gotten to the point where I, I use certain phrases in Japanese without thinking about them. So the other day I got onto an elevator uh, full of, I assume, native Japanese speakers, and I asked for the floor that I would like them to push for me uh, entirely in Japanese without even thinking, now it's time to speak Japanese. Uh, so, Rokai Onigashimas, sixth floor please. And uh, it just came right out and I was very proud of myself. I think it was the first time I spoke in Japanese with no thought. That's pretty cool, for sure, for sure. Uh, Klaus asked, did I do the connections yet today? Yeah. Uh, if you don't want to hear about the connections, uh, earmuffs, earmuffs. 
Uh, but the New York Times Connections Puzzle is a daily, uh, here are 16 words that fit into four categories, uh, four categories of four each, and figure out how they fit together within four turns. And yeah, the uh, uh, usual difficulty is that some of the words at least seem to fit together in more than one way. Uh, because they use the uh, either multiple definitions or homophonic uh, understandings of these terms, so homonymic or homophonic. And so you have to disentangle, do they want you to use the homonyms and homophones, or do they want instead think about you know, different understandings? Like the word ball, for instance, uh, might be in with net and racket, a la tennis, uh, or instead, the ball could be in with having a dance. And the racket, like a tennis racket, could also be racket, meaning a tremendous noise. And the word net could mean that part of a tennis court, uh, and also like the back of a goal net, etc. cetera. Uh, or instead, the kind of money you make in a business analysis, net profit. And so you have to combine all these together. Uh, yesterday's puzzle, maybe today's puzzle, not sure which one, uh, as an April Fool's Day joke, they did not use words. They instead used emojis. <laughs> and uh, Noms and I had a brief moment of the horror, the horror, and then we figured out very, very quickly. Uh, so it was a lot of fun, actually. It was a fun, uh, surprising April Fool's Day uh, trick. And uh, yeah, I'm absolutely fine with that kind of April Fool's Day trick. And it, it was a good time for us. I know some people really hated it, but for me, I enjoy it. Uh, did I learn any Japanese before moving here? Uh, some, some, yeah. I wasn't planning to move to Japan, so it was not a, a life goal in any sense. I'm not an anime kid, so I did not know what they were saying when they yelled about how kawaii they are. Um, but, but yeah, I learned a little bit of like standard greetings and ordering in the restaurant by pointing at things and saying, this please. Uh, but my Japanese has improved quite a bit since being here because uh, I'm expected to use it uh, more often than not. So that is... That's how it goes. Always a good time. Anyway, I think that's all my talking. So thank you for being here. Thank you for spending time with me. And uh, we'll play some video games now. If you got any questions or things you want to talk about, feel free to just ask them. I'm always happy to uh, chit-chat about this and that while playing our game. And that will be a lovely, lovely time. Okay. Here comes the millennia. We continue. We're playing as China. Randomly selected. We're now in the age of enlightenment, I believe. Um, we got access to new ideologies, I think, and I don't recall what I've gone into. <laughs> I think we just hit this period recently, and I've been more focused on a war we're fighting than anything else. Because uh, in this game, there are no peaceful playthroughs. Uh, no matter what, you have to have a fairly substantial army to uh, discourage people bullying you. And I do wonder if that will always be part of this game, uh, or if eventually there will be... Uh, ways to stay more at peace. Because uh, I, I kind of like that in some playthrough. Uh, yes, we are in the era of the Enlightenment. We've chosen the Commander's perk here. Uh, so we have Napoleonic fellows driving about, um, allowing us to get higher level troops than ever before. We also have, we also have a, um, a field marshal. We got one field marshal who's in one of our stats right now. Uh, at the moment, we are at war with the Zulus, and the Zulus have brought all of their troops to the border here. Uh, we launched this war, so I'm feeling relatively good about our taking victory. But we'll have to see how that goes. Um, this troop back here, uh, substantially wounded in a recent battle. I'm gonna have them just dart up and heal up, hopefully. Uh, that group does include, you see right in the middle there, uh, our one field marshal. And he's the highest level possible. That's not true. He's actually not a field marshal. He's a leader six. So he's a leader of this era. The field marshal is instead... Where are you? Here he is. On horseback here. That's a dragoon. Never mind. I swear to the field marshal somewhere. I swear, I swear. Also, why do the Zulus have a plague doctor? Why on earth... Do the Zulus have a Plague Doctor in their military? <laughs> That's a non-combat unit. It can't do anything. Uh, any word about the Swedes? No, the Swedes pieced out of the war. So just before we attacked, uh, the Zulus allied with Sweden. Uh, but Sweden decided they wanted no part in this thing and have left the war. Uh, as we have grown quite a bit stronger recently, taking over more and more territory. 
All right, I actually don't recall what we were doing, except just fighting squabbles on the border. Uh, over here, we're working on marching under Kappa as well, and all three of these armies are mine. So I believe we've driven out some of the defensive forces. They do have more outside. I think I'd like to try to advance on this army, ideally in this direction, so we don't march into range of the capital's capital attack. You think the UI need to work this game? Does it? I don't know. Like, I don't really feel that, but it's not to say it's not the case. It's I tend to be okay with games being, you know, whatever they are. Uh, here comes an attack. We hold on the controls. We do not go in. That'd be good. Cannons and city guards. There's a line of musketeers. Cannons and a field marshal. There's the field marshal. We finally found him. So he gives a nine tactic bonus versus their no tactics. So we're dealing 50% um, more damage and better defense also on all our folks. We didn't push in, and so next turn we can begin our sieging on all sides. Though, okay, we have three cannon in this group. We're inside of enemy territory. So we could move back, heal this group, and send them in again. I think I want to save my warfare points, though, to continue upgrading the commanders. So for now, you just post up here and heal. Same with you. And we want to reinforce further. I think I have more armies marching south. Uh, Gian is currently making a waterworks or better sanitation, so no, I may have no more troops heading that way. Uh, in our other stack here, wait, someone behind our lines. It is an explorer. They can just stay there. They have really high defense. They don't need much past that. Uh, front line is secured. It's fine. Uh, over here, we've recently developed a fleet. A fleet of three uh, ships, uh, one a galleon, or sorry, one a bomb vessel, and two men of war two mans of war and I just want to head out and see if we can find another continent uh, or maybe go beat up on some barbarians because the Swedes and the Japanese and the Egyptians are from somewhere I know not where. Rome has made warehouses so we can now send things between Rome and elsewhere. I'm going to go ahead and improve a lifting tower to get us more improvement points per turn. Uh, right now we're pulling in 38 per turn. That's more than the highest cost building which is Actually, the same as the highest cost building, the public schools. Uh, once Vian gets one more population, uh, 31, we'll need education there. Uh, we do have a public school um, here. Nope. Here. Nope. <laughs> There's a public school in somewhere in here. Is it this one? Uh, that's a winery. Well, don't you worry. The kids will find their way there, and that will be absolutely wonderful. But I swear there's a school somewhere. Right. In Expedition, we're saving up for making a territorial claim. In Warfare, we're saving for commanders. In Engineering, we have so many points. And both of my Engineering lines are finished, so we can just spend these points on anything else we want to. Um, for right now, I'd like to improve some of these towns. So this town is now level 2, so we can have a specialization if we want to. Um, we have a specialization if we want to. You're level 2, aren't you? <laughs> Maybe it's not. Uh, expand town again. Hey, there we go. All right, it's now level two, so we can now choose what we want it to be. Uh, it's touching a whole bunch of different stuff, so it doesn't have a nice specialization possibility. Uh, ideally, you want to be touching, uh, you know, multiple farms, multiple uh, whatever else. Uh, it is touching two game camps. Does farming help with that or no? So farming towns generate food for farming tiles. These are not farming tiles. Lumber town, more production for lumbering improvements, no. But at least we have one mine here. So sure, it's a mining town now. Not amazing, but functional at least. Um, I see that my grassland toolsmith was destroyed here. These were earlier enemy marches we have to repair. And we still have a few more points to spend, so... Seiza here is still a vassal. We have actually eight vassals currently, uh, many of which are quite small, and we have no government XP to bring them in. We want to bring more of them in to help with even more culture if possible. Uh, Lu Yang here, we see has two gold, and I believe we already made a jeweler for them, did we? 
We did not. We did not because we were struggling to find a place where the jeweler can go. Uh, ideally, we want to use a territorial claim to go out one more tile here in order to get the jeweler made. Now, we could also spawn more iron or more gold in these hills. Well, again, we have no place to actually use them until we take this bit over. Um, Xiang currently has... That's Lu Yang, sorry. Lu Yang, rather, has only one town. So if we make an outpost here, we can then take over that outpost with our next cultural perk, and it'll expand through the, all of this territory, uh, getting access to the cotton, the fishies, and three more tiles. So I'd like to do that, actually. So here comes a pioneer. This pioneer will then move straight up to here, and then next turn, we'll make an outpost town. Good, good, good. What's the premises game? It's like Civ, but weird. Um, I mean, that's a fair comparison. It's like Civ, but uh, has internal economies also. And I look forward to seeing how they build up the game, either with DLC or with uh, free updates, or more likely both of them at once. Uh, but yeah, it's a game that uh, definitely uses a Civ model, uh, but the economy side is really, really, really cool. And there's a lot of depth here if you want to spend your time figuring out what works best wherever. What's internal economy? Yeah, I can explain it a little more clearly. So all of these uh, locations around Xiang here have different kinds of buildings. For example, uh, this is an iron mine. It gets iron. Uh, we then have a blast furnace. Um, that's a weaponsmith. That would be the end of the story. We have a toolsmith. No. I swear there's a blast furnace in here somewhere. <laughs> that's the poor house. Uh, here we go. All right, so the iron goes to the blast furnace. The blast furnace makes ingots. Ingots are used to make tools. Uh, tools or weapons then give us additional points to build up our domain mana, which we can then spend on either improving the ideology of our culture uh, or having quick domain powers to heal our people, etc. So as you're playing in any given city, you can specialize it however you want to give access to things like food and sanitation and luxuries, but also to strengthen your economy. And this is much more complex than Civ. And I like it, I like it a lot. Uh, also, also what I mentioned there about having different domains, um, as history goes by, you'll have access to different ideologies as well as different government types. And all of those give access to particular ways in which you can specialize your nation. So you don't have to be an empire if you don't want to. You can be a republic. You can be instead a, a monarchy and have a government that uh, it works best for the kind of playthrough you're doing. So there's a lot of variation playthrough to playthrough if you want there to be. Or you can find the ideal build and do it every single time. So that's how it's going. Hope that helps with explaining the distinction a little bit. I'm enjoying it. Uh, has your good point. Barbarians are also insane in this game. Uh, early game, you must cower and hide from the barbarians instead of winning against them very, very easily, as in other games. Uh, seeing that Rome is running a little bit low on housing, I'm going to give them a proper house as opposed to a poor house. So where is the proper house? There it is. There it is, there it is, there it is. Put it right by town there. Beautiful. And now Rome has all the housing it needs so it grows even faster. On the internal economy page, we can see uh, they have some coal that's doing nothing. They have some fish. Um, does fish become delicacies? No. Meat or sugar or olives become delicacies. Fish becomes I don't know what. Might just be eaten raw right now. We also have bones. Uh, bones are just for wealth. So it might make sense for me to uh, destroy these, which are only giving bones, and make them for more productive buildings, possibly. Beyond that, we also are producing excess machines, stone. Okay, that stone is not being used all that much. That said, it's probably on a quarry somewhere. Mm, not sure. Have I explained this game is different from Civ? I swear I did merely 20 seconds ago. Probably the exact moment that you clicked in the stream, I just finished it. Hey, would someone mind explaining what's different in this game from Civ? Because I don't want to say my words again. <laughs> I need to make a command. Should we write a command right now together? I'm going to write a command. All right. So let me pull this thing over here. Uh, let me go and pull up the screen so we can see it together. 
Let's do display view. Cool. All right. Commands. Custom commands. New commands. We'll call it X point sim. Um, this game appears to be like sim. Uh, that said, there are two key differences. Uh, first, um, the game has an internal, oops, internal economy in which you can specialize your cities through resource. This is too complex. Uh, I'm going to change the earlier one to a period. And we get X to a colon now. Differences. First, the internal economy. Uh, you can specialize... <clears throat> Do we need that? Specialize cities and build logistics chains. Second, um, nations develop over time nations' ideologies. Develop over time, uh, which the uh, and the player can choose how these go. Uh, generally, the game is more dynamic and freer in choices than Civ. I-M-O. Okay. We'll see how it goes. <laughs> Next up, a, a summary of, of Deleuze. All right. Consider the nature of human being... <laughs> Alright, so if you do exclamation point sieve now, you'll get a distinction. Hope that helps a little bit. We'll see, we'll see, we'll see. Hey, there it is. Uh, thank you for the excellent help there. Now we return to our game for now. Oh no, y'all are finding the old commands. I pulled up the, uh, the bots, so you can see all the commands. You cannot get a New Year's card. A New Year's card is now done. You can get nothing. Good day. Uh, if I destroy these, we'll be lower on food. I think that destroying both of these will have access to how much less food? So six less food. If we make a proper farm, the Sweden farm, we have access to, I don't know how much food. Let's find out. Uh, three food each. So it's the same as these which means there's no particular benefit to this, as those also give uh, additional bone for wealth. So, never mind. You can stay here for now to give a bonus on food. I'll destroy this eventually, probably. There should be a pin comment for newcomers asking how it's compared to Civ. I don't like using pin comments. I think they dirty up the chat box. Unless there's something in particular that I want people to see and do, I tend not to use pin com uh, commands. What do you all want? Do you all want a... Uh... Uh, a pin command? What's the pin command going to be? Welcome. Hello. Welcome to the channel. The border war continues. The enemy did not attack from the border war. So the uh, the border is still ours. Uh, this force here has one open slot. It also has my absolutely beautiful tank. So if we march in with our tank, we'll certainly draw. Go in this direction, we will... Uh, possibly win, but more likely than not, not. Uh, this group with the full stack, including the cannon, if it goes in, it it wins big. So sure, move in and attack. Enjoy watching the gunfire. They have a uh, tier 3 leader versus our tier 5 or 6. It's definitely a greater leader bonus. Yeah, they have 4 leader bonus, they have 10 leader bonus. And so we are... I think they're stronger than they are. A pretty straightaway victory. Uh, two of their units survive with tiny, tiny health. And I believe they're pushed back into the city, perhaps. Mm, actually, I don't even see them. I don't understand under what conditions the uh, AI gets to keep their troops. Uh, if we attack this way, a possible win. I want to keep his army in place so they continue healing. I think we just hold our ground here. Uh, now we're no longer on a hill on this team. It would be good to have someone on this hill here. That would be this army once it heals, I believe. Oh, I passed that. We have more engineering points. Possibly expanding more towns. So this town here 
Because again, nothing in particular. What specializations can we do? Yeah, farming, lumber, mining, coastal. It's just none of those things, unfortunately. That said, Kai Fang currently needs additional sanitation. Does it already have its aqueduct made? Mm, it has the aqueduct made. Water works is next level up. It'll help us get more sanitation. That said, 15 more points, I believe. Uh, we only need three points, so that will fix the issue there. How's everyone else on needs met? Uh, a few below 150. Chang Chun needs more housing. We have space for housing for sure. The pin comment for when the next backpack battles is. I'm trying very hard to break myself of backpack battles. There's a game that I have uh, a serious problem with. I'll admit that it's a problem. I, I can't. I can't put it down. Unfortunately. <laughs> Uh, Chang Chun needs both food and sanitation also. So, do you have your waterworks made? No, you'll do that next also. And then on food, we have a hunting camp. I can cut down these trees if I want to to get access to more land. That's engineering points, so we'll do that. Hooray. Gotta leave the mysterious jungle in place. Sorry for teasing me. No, no, no. You're welcome to tease me about uh, about backpack battles. It's unfortunately in a very similar realm to what game is that? Similar realm to World of Warcraft. Not quite the same, but it's definitely close enough. That I need to worry a little bit. All right, diplomacy points. We're saving for tolerance for another point in social fabric. And you're gonna do the same for now. Um, these give additional bonuses to our nation. We want more of that. No, at least with um, backpack battles, I can stop. I swear I can stop. Where World of Warcraft, it's not clear I can. Uh, this army is guarding up again, I believe. Yeah, for now, just guard up again. And then I could reinforce them with one of our stronger units from behind. Um, they have no leader, so I'm going to go ahead and take the leader from this deck, namely Leader 6, and have them join the front lines. And then this group here, I want to keep them back to heal. They're looking pretty strong right now, so I'm moving to the hills instead, provide further defense against the folks in front. All right. I believe it is time to begin the assault on their capital. So... Two cannon and one field marshal attacks, we get a draw. That is fine. This one is three cannon. If it attacks, we actually might win. That is insane. A wall versus one unit or one um, army. Let's do, let's do. And the field marshal should be able to map it, mop it up afterwards. The city guards finally have guns. Some of you were wondering, would the city guards ever get guns? And they now finally have them. Also, man, that wall went down so fast. Also, also our grenadiers, I love so much. They're so ridiculously weak. They do do substantial damage. Uh, damage of 26. These ones of 30, uh, 38. They do get rocked pretty fast. I'm not quite sure if these guys have bonus against flying that true. Um, so they have a bonus against ranged. And the Grenadiers counter ranged? No, they're aligned. So there's no bonus between the Stabbers and the Grenadier. Whichever way, this city has been taken. And I think that's their capital. I mean, entirely odd that we were just taking the capital of the Zulus. So. How many cities should they have left? One, two, three, four, five? Maybe five. Is that true? Those have four, so one of those at least is still a vassal. I, I guess we just go ahead and run through. I guess what happens. So we now pivot in this direction. If my cannon marches here and they attack, it's certainly a draw. So you're going to wait right here for now. And I'll probably have this cannon unit move out. We have a smaller deployment behind that can keep public order. 
probably repair all the things I've destroyed a bit ago. Oh, that said, this city is now uh, a vassal, so I can't help but improve itself. I'll have to repair itself first. Okay, I'm gonna take the weaker Grandier and move them back. But they can't turn, move this turn. Next turn. So next turn we'll do a swap here, I believe. Alright. Our navy continues along. Our navy sees a whole bunch of barbarians. Let's go beat things out of them. This is my first time seeing a mana war fight. How does the mana war fight? That's the bomb ship. <laughs> Sorry, I squeaked there. <laughs> Our bomb ship destroys the barbarian uh, floaties in one shot. That's a little embarrassing for them. Oh my goodness. So we could probably split our fleet and go after each of these in the future. That was pretty, pretty great. I do apologize for squeaking though. It's unacceptable. Uh, so Jian again has proper sanitation. I'm not sure for how long. They are centered on canoes, it's true. Uh, but uh, the last kind of ship we had, the Galleon, I believe, wasn't able to kill it in one full round. So the uh, yeah, the, the Men of War, a bomb ship destroying in one shot is amazing to me. It's such a huge bonus. That's great, though. Uh, we're still making way too much money. So does John have anything to build? He can build a museum. This belongs in a museum. Uh, it gives more education. Only three turns. Let's knock it out. And let's start building up a new uh, a new army also. So we'll have a, a group of, of cavalry. A cavalry have a bonus against range units. So I'm considering just having a whole army of cavalry marching about. Capital attack! Yes, our newly taken vassal here can bombard this way. Lucifer, is this the average map size of the game? Um, so I didn't change any map size at all. Um, and the map gets bigger and bigger, more and more zoomed out, the more that you find, I believe. So there is more we haven't discovered yet, uh, but I don't know how big it gets, or if you can choose different game settings and make it larger. I actually didn't poke around the settings at all before starting this game. Um, my first real playthrough. And the Zulus flee! That is good to see. And the Barbarians are attacking the Zulus also. Okay. So... This group attacking in again is a draw. Fine. I'm going to have this group, except for the one weak character, drop back. This stack here is... What exactly? Uh, spearmen. You have spearmen? <laughs> All right. Um, so I'm going to borrow the musketeer. It'll join this stack, and then we're going to roll out and win this one absolutely overwhelmingly. Like, no doubt about that. Poor Zulus. Poor sweet Zulus. That'll do, pig. That'll do. All right, another Zulu group destroyed. Uh, we know there's some Zulu ships here, but that is the edge of the world. And so for next round, these can will probably attack Ulundi if they can get there. Uh, you all post up for another turn. Now it's time possibly to roll forward. So guaranteed loss of this group, only one cannon. This group, actually this group's the strongest here. So if you attack in, it's a draw. I think it's a draw that weakens enough for another group to come in. So let's go ahead and start this attack. Is there a way to delete Caesar Vassals? Zach, I don't believe so. I think that's one of the big things about the game is you cannot destroy cities that are made. You're kind of stuck with them wherever they are made. Uh, you can destroy production buildings if someone's managed a city poorly but you can't destroy the city itself, I think, I think. 43 turns. In those turns, one musketeer is dead, one musketeer is a feared, but the walls are down, and yeah, they have full deployment in there. Uh, with the walls down. Guaranteed loss still that way. This group, another draw. So we'll weaken them once more. Oh, I love how the door opens also. If they open the door, scurry out, then go back in again. Only three to three turns this time. 
Our tank continues. That tank will never die. It is the greatest thing we've ever built. It was like a UFO on wheels. <laughs> uh, they've been weak in Trenson again. Uh, one slight issue, we'll call it an issue, is that this army standing here could possibly or will certainly pivot north and wipe out at least some of the troops here. But that's the cost we pay to destroy the city. I have one more group. If you go in now, you still draw. So we're not gonna get a win, unfortunately, by attacking with them. Um, if we attack this group, it'd be a win. If we attack this group, it'd be a draw, unfortunately. So, it's oh, who dat? Who dat behind? Some cannon trying to roll through. Okay, I have two defensive armies. I couldn't go over for that. As much as I want to wipe these, it's probably more important we don't let the enemy get through our lines. I think this is their most prepared force. Uh, my hoplites finally died. We knew the hoplites had to be destroyed anyway. I'm glad they've been destroyed. <laughs> we have some obsolete troops kind of just hanging around. All right, our fleet must now separate for a moment. So I'm gonna use my bomb ship against one of the stronger groups. One shot, one kill. I'm gonna use the second, the lower level man of war against the easier group here. These poor fishermen. Yep, yep. Cool. One fled, unfortunately. And the last one will then rush on forward and destroy the barbarian ship also. We need more bomb ships. Seeing them die in one shot better than two shots. Ah, right, well done, folks. Oh, what's this? An undiscovered landmark? What, 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 what? What, 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 what? I wonder if no one's been able to land here successfully because there's barbarians set up. We can bombard before landing. It is time to send an explorer. So usually landmarks get discovered in like the first 20 turns. That's great. It's North America. <laughs> the undiscovered country. No one lives there. Don't worry because they're clearly not using the land correctly. Uh, Zheng Zhao is up to the north. It is not where I want to build my explorer. Actually, you don't have build explorers, do you? Do you? I can't remember now. Explorers are built or spawned. They are built, actually. I'm going to get rid of the Kurosar and my capital and go to the explorer instead. And then Chang Chun here has more things to build. It doesn't need sanitation right now, so we'll just go treasury. Oh, never mind. It's not the one that's done. The one that's done is Zheng Zhao. All these names run together, and they do want more sanitation, so we'll hit that next. Capital attack. Kai Fang has the group that ran away. The one cannon left. It's hanging on with 0.5 HP, it looks like. Pure shenanigans, that. Uh, we'll see if they run away or uh, ram themselves into one of our bases here. Zulu's... I think Sweden wants open borders. Sweden realizes they should be kind to me now after declaring war earlier. I don't see that Zulu army. Um, I don't know if they can run away past our visible site here. So I think it may have run into one of our larger stacks. But I don't see any battle marker, so it did run away. Uh, Kai Feng needs additional sanitation badly. They are making the water works right now, I think. They're making that next. We have enough free space here. They're going to make a trash heap to keep them going. We went to the west above the pyramid. Oh, did it? I didn't see that. That said, another barbarian encampment has spawned. So even at this late day, in 1782, barbarians keep spawning more and more and more. How awkward. Look at the other east. Ah, nope, that's an explorer. Ah, here you go. The north of Rome. Uh, the Romish army marches out to deal with them. So for one turn, the Pope has no defense. Well stabbed. Well stabbed. Next turn they go back home again. Uh, 
left. So again to the front line. Not sure if we're going to attack. My strongest stack here was not attacked, actually. If we go in with it, it's a draw again. Alright, uh, so more draws. I'm going to attack with a stronger group first. I think is this one. We might lose a cannon here. And the walls go back up a little bit. It should be destroyed in one shot. Good. This thing. The tank persists. The city has been taken. Dallas is now mine. We're getting scads of chaos for taking all these cities. That's okay. Alright, so this group... Huh. I thought so we were guaranteed to draw. I don't know then why we finished it off correctly. Anyway, this direction, 50-50 win or draw are the cards in our favor. Uh, this group is actually significantly uh, smaller than it could be. And our current army size is up to six. So I have to build up my arms a little bit more. Ah, right, we have feared them. We lost one gunman. But they retreated to this group. So you all can now head down to here to get your win. And then, yeah, I can city bomb to finish off that group. In just a second, I'll do that. I'm guessing at some point we'll be leveling up our technology to the present day. Have drone warfare. Let's see how that goes. Uh, they were feared to hear, unfortunately. So now we have Dallas's attack. Right that way. Uh, not a complete wipe, but very close. Now we go over to the east. Um. This group is full of folks, all fairly up upgraded already, so they'll move to here. And it's my big cannon stack, so we'll attack a Lundi in a second. All right, for right now, you post up here and heal up. Convoy the convoy. So I believe my bomb ship can siege, so they can bombard from the road. Now, I don't know if bombarding a barbarian location gives um, the player the technology for destroying it, or it's only if you take it over uh, on the ground. Whichever way, this ship moves forward to heal the canoe once more. Yes, yes, he dared to throw a javelin at me. That's an act of war, surely. You have to conquer it? Okay, so we need to bring someone over to help with that then. Probably an explorer. Wow, this canoe somehow survived cannon is it fusillades, is that word? Fusillade, something like that. My bombing ship, I'm going to go finish off the Zulu army, or Zulu navy. One fishing ship. And then next turn will come, at least bombard the troops so we get safe landing. Habdera. Habdera has overwhelming numbers in absolutely everything. Um, they could push out more army. About taking more production instead. Up to 78 improvement points. Keep saying production. Improvement points instead. So we see that Zheng Zhao needs sanitation, which is making right now. Show me your internal economy. Um, so they have excess fish and meat. That meat made the delicacies. So we'll get a kitchen here to help with that. Right. So their meat should now be consumed to make delicacies instead. Cool. Uh, what else do we see here? A bunch of trees we could chop down. We could start some kind of like wood gathering into uh, timber making process there if we want to. Um, a Zulu explorer is checking out my outpost. Unacceptable. So I'm going to go ahead and move one of my city guards forward to that, which should be enough to hold it off with the city defenses as well. If I upgrade the level on this, which is engineering, I think it's more defense possibly. This target is not viable. Oh, I'll post it on cities. Sorry. With culture points, we can then absorb an outpost. So we can absorb that one. But I don't know what it absorbs into, Abdera or Zheng Zhao, because they both have one open slot. But what I really want is 
this one here, but John still can only support two towns. Well, let's grab it and see. It is joined into Zheng Zhao. I have no idea how the game suggests that, uh, selects that one. Now, Haifi and a bunch of open space around it, we could probably make super farmy. Other kinds of specialization are lumber, none around it. Mining, no. Yeah, it's gonna be a farm area for sure. In particular, there's a pasture right there. Okay, hold our ground there. Um, I see that Zheng Zhao's troops can upgrade also. I don't want to spend my warfare points on that though. And the decision to upgrade troops based on spending warfare mana as opposed to cash money is definitely another difference between this game and, and Civ. I think Civ, you spend money to upgrade between eras. some reason, the enemy moved their armies closer into Dallas, so we can again make a city attack, I believe. Nope, it's my army. I don't know why it rolled or I thought it moved. Maybe it didn't actually do so. Okay, we drop back then and deal with some Zulus. Do they have any fun variant ages? Uh, we had the Age of Plague, and that was not fun. <laughs> uh, I've got to say, on this playthrough at least, the Age of Plague was just not a good time, because it's a lot of just jumping from place to place, fighting off infest or uh, not occupations, what are they called? Infestations. And that's uh, not particularly delightful in my experience. If I sent through for just the tank, a dragoon, and the commander, we guaranteed win. Good. Now, we didn't have the Age of Heroes, the Age of Blood. I think next playthrough, I'm going to try very hard for the Age of Heroes. Now I know how to play the game. Uh, I've never been the leader of um, research, so I've never been able to choose what we head into next. I'd love for us to get the Age of Ether, but I'm fairly sure I'm not in first place, so... I also need to make recon balloons, but I think they're one turn each, so we can do that very easily. No harmony, because there's no religions. No ignorance, we have no crisis charges. I don't know what ignorance actually is. We'll probably go to revolution next. And I wonder if revolution's going to spawn revolutionary troops against us. Kind of guess it will. All right, so we have an army on this side to go for Baghdad. Baghdad, rather. We have an army over here to go for Nicomedia. Heroes is really RNG. Yeah, let me tell you the beginning of this playthrough. I'm sorry, if you were here earlier, I shouldn't I shouldn't belabor this point. So we started right here. We started right here as Jan. And I said, let's go north and south first. North, 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 north. North, north, north. Oh, we found nothing. And we found the Grand Canyon eventually uh, held by the Greeks already. Number two, let's go southeast. We found the mysterious jungle already taken. And so in those two directions, if only I would have gone west. The tall mountain was literally right there the whole time. <laughs> we did get the Sahara Desert uh, in the first phase. Um, but yeah, just a matter of finding the right landmarks fast as possible. I can easily do Aether. So though I can do Aether like, by making the recon, I don't know if I'm far enough ahead of the Age of, of, the Age of Enlightenment to be able to get there before anyone else does. Just not sure. Just not sure. My guards go back to Rome. We scared off the explorer, I believe. So do we return to Zheng Zhao? It's gaining no unrest. So you can just post up here for now. You got Age of Heroes your second run. Wow! What happens in the Age of Heroes? What exactly occurs? That's really fun, whatever it is. Uh, next turn, we combine these armies. This army has one cannon. This army has one cannon also. Well, oh, army size is currently six. So we can send this entire army over here in a moment. Probably do that. Uh, how long do you spend in each age? Um, I think it gets longer in each age the longer you go forward. Or farther you go forward because time passes more slowly. Um, and so in this era, it's right now about just over 10 for each of the unlocks. I think at the beginning, at the beginning it's only 
five or six turns, maybe. Because again, the turns are thousands of years at that point. Uh, both of you are ready. First, the cannon brigade goes in. We actually might win off of this. At least get the walls down. Wow! 20% victory! How good is that? I wonder if the calculation includes the leader strength. I can imagine it not doing so. Whichever way, another regional capital taken. They now have, I believe, only one, two proper cities left. Uh, so this army can then rush forward and take out the artist. Oh, that's so terrible. Attacking artists. Well, here's how it goes. Goodbye, artist. Your Zulu art is nothing to me. <laughs> I'll move the other army forward to hold the city, or town rather, and then prepare for these. Uh, to the fleet then. So we want our bomb ship to go bombard these fellows. So yeah, this is definitely why it's undiscovered. The entire island is covered with barbarians. It's like, what, Sentinel Island? Is that right? Where the Sentinelese hang out and cause such troubles for anyone who visits them. Uh, next turn, Jean will have their one explorer. Soon, soon, soon. Um, I sort of doubt the explorer can take the barbarian camp solo. That said, explorers have crazy defense. So I want to give them additional troops to help out. So Jean, let's give you at least a couple troops. Explorer with a cannon seems absolutely delightful. So next up, give me the cannon. Which is here. I may add one more on, pop of, on top of that, rather. Aha! More barbarian ships. You can bombard the camp too much. Oh, so I would you destroy the camp entirely via bombardment, bombardment, rather. So we don't need another one then. That's fine. That's fine. So you can't bombard. You're just going to hang out there and guard the seaway. Zulu and Egypt are free of their war. Did Egypt take anything on this continent? I don't think they did. Unless there's more over here. Huh. Uh, as mentioned, next turn combine those two. News from abroad, yeah. Egypt and Sweden also ended a war. Reminder, claim territory. A has finally come. Uh, which territory did I want? I wanted open land for my capital, I believe. Could take more desert for it. Or something I want in particular. No, it was actually land for Luyang. Oh! My poor pioneer's been standing here. I believe I guarded him up. Look at that! Another town. As next turn, Luyang takes all that over. Guess what we're gonna do is grab this bit here for Luyang. Our cities and fortress are kind of jammed together now. Wrong button. Uh, claim territory. That bit there. A claim for Jitong and Jian. I need to find some way to indicate which city I want it to be claimed by. But my capital didn't need that. Greedy, greedy, greedy capital. Uh, may I put a trash heap inside the hills? You may not. So the hills are super restrictive on what you're allowed to, uh, yeah, what you're allowed to build there. It's a little annoying. Oh, may I John selected? That's possibly the case. Might be what you're actually looking at at the time. So may I came from Jian and clicked there. Had we started at Luyang and gone up, that might have done it. Well, next culture time, we're going to um, take this outpost part of Luyang. It was a mine on fire. I wouldn't doubt it. So this one is here, is what you mean, but part of a vassal, so I can't help them. Uh, they will fix this eventually. Um, and they are, let's see here. Yeah, they're gradually integrating. But I gotta save my points. In Luyang, is a mine on fire here. Good eye, thank you. That's the issue. We should probably eventually go through all of our cities and see what outposts are on fire. I would love to have a, a notification or some kind of uh, menu I could pull up to see what's on fire. 
they just stroll to see these things sometimes. 1788. We home by Christmas. The Zulus march an army in. Um, I do want to continue on. And Ulundi is a vassal, so they don't need my troops. I'll roll this way then. Yeah, some people have said the graphics in the game are not super great. And I think, in particular, the map level, while it is like, really cool to see all the various buildings and so on, it's just sort of hard to see what they're doing sometimes. <laughs> Alright, we have feared them. Good job, good job. Now these cannon will finish off. Excellent. And the next turn we head towards Quadzuku first, and then... The Dallas armies head to Baghdad, and... Oh, Zulu actually integrated somebody, I believe. I thought one of these was not a proper region. Next turn, we get a Chaos event, definitely. Exciting. So Zulu has three regions now. One, two, three. We will finish them off. We must. All right. Jian now has the one Explorer finished. So, come with me, my friend. Time to hop in a boat. Hopefully no one finds him on the way. Uh, Dallas. You roll over here. These armies are already done for now. Good. Good, good. Yeah, we're at the point right now where we can kind of ignore any and all chaos. Their economy is so darn strong. Okay, if this group with one cannon rolls in, it definitely loses. Yeah, almost certainly loses. We don't want that. Instead, you'll set up over here for now. And because I'm going to take this, I'm not planning to destroy any of their improvements. My horsey dudes. I can move two people into the stack. We'll move our leader and our tank. Good. Then you all next turn. I have one Dragoon unit that can't join anybody. Unfortunate. Alright. Let's go work our way around the island and see if we can find any other barbarian ships. <gasps> Who's this? Who is Orange? We found Orange finally. Japan! So Japan is an, on an, is on an island of their own, perhaps. Maybe we found the isolationist Japanese. What's our relationship to them? Um, open borders right now. We're slightly stronger than they are. Actually, we should stronger than anybody, everyone else right now. No, Egypt is 2,000 stronger than we are. The Germans are slightly weaker than we are. So as of right now, the Japanese are the only strong power. Meiji restoration complete. Time to begin the bombarding. Palisade walls have been damaged. Still inside at one Barbarian 4. I am curious about whether you can bombard people as well. Near a target that can be sieged. I need to clear out all these or else the Explorer will get stepped on. We'll figure out soon. Maybe we should try to have peace in our time with uh, the Japanese. Because we already have the open borders. Chaos of the learned ones. The people of China are voracious in education and constantly seeking out new research to evolve their businesses, their home life, and philosophical thinking. Wait, what happened to the works of, uh, of Confucius? You must look to the past to understand what you should do today. Then was harmonious, now is chaotic. I need you to make China great again. I'll spend a thousand bucks to circulate the books of Confucius once more. Uh, friends, we've been live now for an hour and a half, so it's time for our first little ad break. I want to thank you for being here and hanging out with us. We'll pause our games, you'll miss absolutely nothing. We'll do some crossword puzzle. This is a Monday puzzle, so do not expect to see the end of it today, but... Hopefully it's going to be a good time nonetheless. Monday, April 1. Difficult full-size puzzle. 
uh, easy target. Easy target. So something that's very close to you for shooting. Uh, probably someone who you could con easily. Like a rube, possibly. Uh, easy target. No idea. A fresh. Could be a new. Not sure. Uh, need some air, perhaps. So it could be like a tire, deflated or low. It could be like a room that's stale, possibly. I'll put stale in, but be ready for it to be wrong. A shopping site without pop-up ads. Well, Amazon or eBay or Etsy. I don't know a word in general. Oh, shopping site. How about a mall? Not a website, but an actual place, a site. Malls have no pop-up ads yet. Uh, no superhero. Does the word average Joe fit here? It does. I don't think that's right. Fire up is amp up, so double A is no good. Let's work off what we have. Now I think a new might be right. Uh, diamond cutting records since the 60s. Diamond cutting records or records. I wonder if this is some kind of um, record company that makes, like, is Diamond a level of album? And there's, like, gold album and platinum albums. I doubt Diamond is. Um, so it could be, like, the strongest Diamond for cutting. Hooray, it's a record. Oh, Diamond cutting could also be baseball. Baseball has Diamonds. I don't know how it would work, though. Uh, nook, but not cranny. Uh, and nook is an e-reader put up by Amazon, I think. That's a, that's a Kindle. Anyway, it's an e-reader. A piece of the pie is probably a wedge. A misled, or missled, unsure. Uh, Olympian, generally disliked by his peers. I think Ares is disliked because he always wants to fight. So needs some air. Mm, not sure. Uh, no superhero is a mere. Mere human, possibly, which means Ares is incorrect. A mere human does not fit. <laughs> I think Ares is still correct here. Mere, mere mortal. There we go. I finally got it. Nice. Uh, Spanish pronoun. Gosh, there are quite a few of them. Uh, seriously out of order. So, like, rowdy person's out of order? Out of order comes being a broken thing. Um, so, like, on the fritz, possibly. Uh, digs on and off, maybe. Digs on and off, maybe. So, digs can mean, like, a home, a place where someone lives. So, a temporary lease uh, or a hotel room, maybe. Um, digs could be literally digging also, but I'm not sure what on and off would mean there. Uh, they're kind of pants, I think, called clam diggers. I'm not sure on that. Mm, yeah, I'm sure. Uh, after restitution, um, you owe no more. You're paid up. Uh, restitution costs come to an individual, not just paid out. So you've been made whole, possibly. Uh, gets behind. Gets behind. Uh, supports. Um, I'm sure. Gets behind could also be a euphemism for, for sex, I suppose. Uh, archaic address. Possibly sire. Uh, at rest. Uh, not moving, idling, tacit, unsure. A uh, coda part, deaf is part of coda. A uh, family nickname could be bro, sis, ma, that kind of thing. Nan, even. Whatever way. Ad break is done. We'll call it an okay start for Monday. Uh, that mere mortal work makes me feel very good about the possibility of finishing the upper right hand corner. But good start, good start. Ad break done. Boom, just like that. Back to whatever I was talking about before. Jean made their explorer. The guy this may also be done now. I think it might just be create a whole nother... Yeah, create a whole nother um, army. As in, nothing else to build. We could improve a bunch of stuff, but... Let's make an army. A couple of uh, sword-on-horse guys. Roma also is in good shape now, so we'll continue building up whatever can build up. Treasury? Treasury gives what again? Just more cash. We don't really need more cash. So the museum gives education. Rome is so far away from uh, education. Is music loud today? Oh, it might be. It might be. I did turn it up slightly because I thought it was too quiet yesterday. 
Let's go halfway in between. We'll try there instead. My apologies for having it too loud, but thank you for noticing that. I always appreciate it. Uh, explorers gonna explore. Hopefully the barbarians don't notice him as we go flying on the coast. Uh, you're in full health. We want you to march here. You have a strength of zero. There's a merchant inside? Oh my goodness. Yeah, you can always mention if there's uh, audio problems. Because though I can see like the audio mixer, the little green bar popping up and down, I never quite know <laughs> if there's enough separation between one audio and another. Battle sounds are quite loud. So battle sounds are much, much louder than the on-screen music. Let me see if I can fix that. Good win, good win, good win. Is there a way to separate the different kinds of sounds? Now you're hearing no music at all? It's a problem, isn't it? Uh, I'm guessing that sound effects are the guns and such. Let's lower that by half. Ambience, no idea what you mean, like crickets chirping. Uh, I'm going to turn this on up again a little bit. What was the most exciting part of the, uh, the stream? Louder, no quieter. Louder, now quieter. Uh, we'll give it a moment and see what changes. City taken. The sound just stop now. All right, all right. Back up it goes. Back up it goes. All right. We'll see how that goes now. Um. So, I have an army here that can reach this group. It has no cannon. We have cannon. Win for us. Many different musical pieces at different volumes. Real possibility on that. Uh, as you know, in uh, CK3, the barbarian music is so loud. Right? Viking music is so loud. Okay, stronger army against city is this one, I think. Guaranteed win. Wow. Cities fall so fast in cannon. Enemies run away with no place to go. Chaos grows once more. Uh, that is a vassal no concern. There's one proper city this way still. The two proper cities hold. I believe that Zulu is making cities as fast as it possibly can make them. Because again, they have two regions. All right, all right, all right. Um, I don't really want to drop back here. But I should. Hold the tank. The tank didn't even get to shoot once. It just sat there awkwardly as our mascot. Uh, you all can now go free. It's very likely we're going to be attacked here at all. So I think we're going to have this group move north to Xi'an in order to uh, be the base of the new army we're making. Okay. We found the edge of Japan. I want to see if the Japanese are interested in having an alliance, as we are slightly stronger than they are. It'll help us have a, a friend, perhaps, the Swedish and the... whoever else we want to know about. Uh, I wonder if I move here, can I bombard? No, you can only bombard cities. So I think I need a whole army for the explorer, lest he gets stepped on immediately after. Well, next turn we can bombard the city again. Okay, so there's a cannon sitting in Jian. We'll have it head to sea also. And head to the explorer as you can. Explorer will have you stay right there, actually. And then the group I said I wanted to bring north to Jian, I've changed my mind on that. Instead, where'd they go? Hmm. I thought I'd just move them north from here. How far could you get in one turn? Uh, I'm trying to cut through the city. Instead, I'm going to have them go to water to head out to the um, invasion of that island.
I, I love that the way that we're proposing peace with Japan is by sending our gunships into their water. Where have I seen this one before? <laughs> A tolerance points. A tolerance good. That gives us a little bit more wealth per turn. Just what I needed. A Morgan's very kind to you. Hope you're having a good day. Thanks for being with us. And I tried very hard to keep the stream calm. Uh, yesterday I may have yelped out once when Sweden joined a war unexpectedly, and I possibly slash definitely woke up some sleeping viewers. I felt pretty bad about that. Interesting. Japan and China are at peace. A temporary alliance is in our interests, but do not assume it will be eternal. Hmm. Hmm. Can you ask questions about philosophy? I mean, yes you can. Uh, if they're long questions, I'll probably ask you to ask them on Discord instead. Uh, or if they're super complex. But sure, give me a philosophy question. I'm happy to give it a shot. Uh, Sweden wants an alliance also. As I don't know where Sweden is, I'll accept that alliance for now. And just like that, Sweden has gone from preparing to attack me, actually going from um, actively attacking me to now peace in only the course of a few turns. It's great. Nicomedia is next. Also, Nicomedia has the first ever hot air balloon. <laughs> I should have made some of those, but cool to see. Uh, if we march in our cannon army, it's probably an instant win. Let's instant draw instead. Uh, we'll wait till the next turn on that. They can heal for a turn or so. Uh, Baghdad. Let's roll forward. That's a Durban is now also a city. We have to destroy both of these. What is being? Consider the nature of not being, but being like ours. <laughs> Consider the nature of what we call docile, the being that is being, that knows itself as being in the world. <laughs> the Greeks, unfortunately, understood all being. Uh, no more, no more. That's our, our daily bit of Heidegger. Uh, what's up this way, anyway? More barbarians. These barbarians have a uh, another landmark. Oh, how I wish them. Uh, this ship bombards again. Their walls are down once more. The defender is still alive, so I wonder if it's just a way to keep the walls down. News from abroad! Japan and Zulu are at war! I didn't invite Japan to join my war, but, uh, yeah. My allies have joined the war. I wonder if they automatically do so, uh, or if instead, uh, it's only in that case. Maybe allies always have to join your war. They're not invited in, like in CK, for instance. 1797. So I believe we're moving forward 10 years at a time now. Also, Germans, Germany's heading the age, uh, age Revolution. So it is definitely the case that even if we made our flying ships, we probably can't get here in time. Because we have one, only two unlocked technologies. We're we'll stuck here for a while. Germany continues to be the trendsetter. They've been first into every single um, era except one. This is the cannon and the explorer. Jean has dragoons to come join. Jean's making more dragoons. That's good. The da sign in da sign is longer. I wouldn't doubt it. I wouldn't doubt it. Um, yeah, I myself do not speak German. I just have some German noises I can make occasionally. Uh, if we attack Nicomedia here, draw number one, that's fine. I can point to the word and say, this is what it means. And I say it that way, and the students know what I mean. Even the ones who speak German. I feel so bad about that. If I, uh... mispronounce German words in front of students who speak German. It's horrible. But hopefully they say, oh, this, this sweet American tries his best. And gosh, he does. Nicomedia is taken! There are now two! My friend with the speculative term of philosophy. I, I know Grant Harmon's work, yeah. Um, yeah, I know um, what object uh, oriented ontology halfway decently. Uh, but what are the implications of Brossier's articles on Marx? I have never read, the, read those articles, unfortunately, so I can offer you absolutely nothing. If you link them or give me the, uh, the citation over on Discord, I will look them up and I will read them. 
I am interested in contemporary takes on Marx. Um, Kohei Saito's is my favorite right now. Just kind of read it most recently. Durbin, like Turban, is now mine. Yeah, my specialization, though, is uh, American philosophy in particular. The Zulus have been defeated! Hey, We defeated the Greeks and then the Zulus. More, more, more. Yeah, just exclamation mark uh, Discord. Uh, there's a channel in there called Book Club, or one called Serious Discussion. Either of those is fine. Harms an American. Yeah, when I say American philosophy, I do not mean people who are American. Uh, I mean instead uh, people who work in a certain confine of American thought. There's a really good article on what makes American philosophy American that I like quite a bit, but it's not just people who are in the U.S., because there are a lot of philosophers in the U.S. <laughs> Uh, all right, we got a whole bunch of points to spend, including points in Commander. Uh, how many points do we actually have here for Warring? 200. That's enough to only unlock one thing right now. Uh, mobility Force March is cheaper. I never, ever use Force March, and it would be consuming my combat points. So as long as I'm building combat, I would not use this. Uh, battlefield medicine leader leaders can heal their units maybe For right now i'm gonna go ahead and get the old guard cavalry it said it spawned one so probably the capital there they are on horseback man with hat you join the assault on the barbarians okay i'm gonna leave the explorer here until he has additional support and we have so many improvement points, I gotta make something. Can't just sit on them. Uh, let's go through and see who needs what. So, Zheng Zhao is the only place that needs additional support. They need food. They have a lot of space, though. Um, this I'm making a farming area, so we'll go ahead and get to work on that. To the point I'll probably export food from here. So first things first, we need a pasture for the sheep. Great. And then around that, I'm just going to throw up normal farms. Swidden farms. Okay, so the more deserty territory cannot get that. Each of these can. Left hand side, three rows down. Lots of blue on the map is that good. Yes, we are blue. We are blue, absolutely. We've done a pretty good job with blowing uh, the enemy out of the water. A uh, Heifei, then, or Haifei, is town to it's a farming town. So farming town gives us additional adjacency for town bonus. I don't know what that means. <laughs> it's adjacency for town adequacy bonus. What on earth does adequacy mean? Sorry, that's adjacency, not adequacy. So... Towns give bonuses to things that touch them. What that means here, I'm less sure. That said, adjacency makes more sense than adequacy would. So more cash money. Uh, farms get a further bonus as well, leading to more food. So we have so much food in Zhengzhou now. Zhengzhou has its waterworks already. It does not. It's almost done with that. Then we'll go for the museum for more education and such. Y'all just sitting there for now. Interesting. So the vassal of the Zulu have become or has become free. I'd like an envoy then. Envoys are 30. I'm gonna change this to that uh, reminder instead. Arts. I'm gonna hold out now for community to get additional social fabric. Speaking of which, we can do a culture if we want to. Or we can incorporate another vassal. So the biggest of the big can't figure out how to upgrade itself. Let's go ahead and do that. Um, Mike, I think you're right. The towns, within, uh, towns that touch towns around them give adjacency bonuses. I think it's the case that 285? Oh my goodness. So if I want to bring the big boy in, I need to use an entire bar of government. How about the smaller ones like Delphi? 285. Wow. Wow. How about Athens? So at this point, 
any further vassal is so expensive. It's not uh, gradated, gradated, graduated. There we go. Uh, based on the size of the town, it's probably based on how many vassals I have already. Fine, fine, fine. So we could just destroy Jin Jin Luvu. I think it's better to use the envoy though. And engineering, we're making ingenuity. We're saving them for all the specializations right now. Um, I, I guess what we can do now is just move our soldiers to the north. Like the most likely next attack is German. I'm not sure I want to, but sure. Let's just start rolling ourselves towards northern cities. Barbarian Explorer, probably Zulu Explorer uh, before. All right, you go there. Ships out here, we still... Exp oh! Wait, wait, okay, second island. Second island is just full of barbarians. All these uncontacted tribes. <laughs> and how do we contact them? By bombarding them endlessly. Speaking of which, bombard again. So each bombardment, they just destroy the walls. The matter of marching in against their uh, one barbarian group. Uh, one turn on research. So kind of for culture again. Does Gian have a space from our town to incorporate? Oh, you can see that on this map here. Yeah, only the two allowed. So the outpost still stays free, unfortunately. The outpost over here. Tasty coffee. Um, I think... I think I'm gonna go ahead and rush research because I am behind that right now. So Eureka! Nice. Could also got the social uh, doctrine to spend. Maybe next turn. Uh, with Eureka, we now know about reason. Look at us understanding how light works. Optics is the best of all the sciences. University is now able to build for our first ever specialist. I do not know what specialists do. Can't wait to find out. The Academy of Science. One per nation, I think it gives you three specialists plus ten specialists. And lastly, Literary Salon needs two specialists to work there. A hosted gathering of cultural elites engaged in pretentious pursuits. How dare you, video game? How dare you? <laughs> um, the Academy of Science is an early science-focused university, ancestor of modern STEM school. Wait, they compliment STEM and then insult our pretentious uh, philosophy? What's going on here? Consider me outraged. Uh, Abdera is full up on all necessary needs. Post the unnecessary needs, I suppose. Capital attack. Syracuse has friends. Just an explorer. Time for some more enlightenment. Gotta do one more, or two more at least, rather. How on earth did Germany do four of these in the time that we've done two? That's amazing. Uh, government, we can make some national landmarks. One-time build. Get more territory where it is. Also the central bank. More wealth. More education. More, more, more. Public sphere helps with unrest suppression. Bakery is an upgrade on the ovens. And more towns, region support. Anything to get that one outpost into the capital. More capital attacks. Considering getting some coffee in a moment here, friends. How about in about five minutes? How about after next turn we get some coffee? And out for a little while. Did an explorer just attack my outpost? <laughs> Welcome to rebuilding this outpost for approximately the 12th time in this playthrough. Oh my goodness. Oh, this poor outpost. It has been beaten over and over and over again. All right, we go free the outpost once more. Like, frankly embarrassing how many times I've lost this outpost. Uh, getting all these to the north also. Probably better to get these to the north via, via boats, most likely. Eh. Let's march across everything. Good. A Durban, another huge army. 
How does one get to Jinjalulu? There's no land bridge, so we'll have to use sea. Ah, oh, you exploring along the Japanese coast? Look at this! Japan has a navy! What fun! And to the north are some green folk. Who are the green folk? Hey, we found Sweden finally! Alliances with Japan and Sweden. They're possibly on separate islands? Or possibly on one big one? Okay, we're going to go to here. Trust the barbarians will attack our ship. Men of War in the north. Find more stuff. Seems like nothing in that quarter. We continue bombarding just for fun. Keep those walls down. Uh, these ships can now head over and join the Explorer stack. We got four of them. I'd like to have two more, hopefully. So Jean has another Dragoon made in one turn. I'd like to have one more on top of that. Oh, sorry. Kuras are being made, not Dragoon. Let's give them the old Guard Cavalry also. Reminder, spawn the Envoy. All right, so this Envoy needs to work their way over to the un- Unified Vassal there. Hello, Envoy. Envoy's still running a toga. So we'll have to see. Next turn. Oh, I can get a boat right now. It's next turn to land. Hopefully they don't get stepped on by barbarians. I don't think they will. A Kai Feng, I'm considering making a um, a dock next. So we can have a western navy as well as the eastern one. Uh, instead of making coffee, I'm going to make some coffee. Back in just a few moments. Thanks for hanging out. Hope you're having a good day. Uh, you'll miss absolutely nothing. So enjoy looking at the glory of all of my cities being attacked by barbarians. Chaos! You all decide what I do with this one. I'm sure you can read it through the AFKC uh, message. Right back, right back.
Hello again, everyone. Thanks for waiting. Thanks for hanging out. Apologies for disappearing for a little bit. Let's go and remove that. Uh, you believe we have money to spend? Pay the chaos tax. Tax, rather. The young people all across China have been slow to develop alongside their peers in other nations. Education rates are much lower than average. We need an infusion of new thought leaders and educators. We accept this. Uh, our education is less effective. Or pay that chaos tax. We hire more, more folks. Germany does not want war. For right now, we'll accept neutrality in Germany while I move my troops to the north. Germany knows what's about to happen here. We become unstoppable. The world is mine. Uh, we'll go ahead and land here. Envoy, ask to join. Happy next turn, we ask to join. Can't do it during the uh, having moved, I believe. Wait, anybody's vassal territory? No, no, no. We want to vassalize the modern nation. That's what happens next. Also, as always, uh, oh, as always, when I went upstairs, my poor orange cat Fritz was convinced, oh boy, it's playtime. And he does not understand why I go back downstairs. He stands at the top of the stairs while I descend to here, crying pitifully. <laughs> it's absolutely terrible. <laughs> I just want him to have a nice life. I just want him to feel loved, but... Unfortunately, when he uh, gets a little bit of playtime, but not enough, he does not feel loved, not even a little bit. It's a heartbreaking thing. All right. Still saving all our points. We have almost enough government points now to integrate uh, Fortaleza. It is how many again? It's uh, 285. We actually have enough right now. Excellent. Another large city is ours. We're now responsible for making it nice here. They have no sanitation and they need additional region buildings. So what have you made recently? Uh, higher water uh, works give us both production bonus, or sorry, sanitation bonus as well as a higher region level. It takes so many turns though. And they have here tobacco, they have a clay pit. They're making a lot of stone here. What on earth are you all doing? They have like four stone cutters and they're getting one stone. This is the worst built city I have ever seen. <laughs> they have the one quarry and one, two, three, four stone cutters. Uh, how does video game choose what to do other than, you know, poorly? It does give engineering XP, I guess. Now, it says if it's a work, it gets engineering XP. Does it do that independently of having items to work? Well, no one's there right now. So their population is totally unapplied. Uh, so it is giving engineering XP, despite the fact that they cannot actually create it correctly. Um, I wonder if workers don't auto-apply in your vassals. Strange. Strange. Okay, I'm gonna get rid of the stone cutters. And think what would be better here. I realize part of it is desert. I'm probably gonna make people live in the desert, unfortunately. Okay, we have tobacco. Tobacco is just tobacco. We also have olives. It gives us how many olives? Um, I think two, is that right? Only one, actually. So one is not sufficient to do much. Hey, more tobacco. Or sorry, tea rather. <laughs> tobacco, tea, all kind of the same. And that will help them. If we destroy the quarry, 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 quarry's the word I want, we're then able to um, put gold in this hill or iron this hill. How much gold do we get from one gold mine right now? I believe it's two. It is, it's iron four. How about the gold? That's iron, it's four. Wait, why are you iron mine here? Well, it's clearly, go oh, gold's here, my apologies. You do get two, okay. So we'd like to have gold prospectors spawned here. We can do that in just a couple turns. We'll then make gold in this tile and have a jeweler also. I'll make the jeweler one thinking about it. J is for jeweler. There it is.
And then, and then, and then, um, I guess we can big one stone mason next. I'm not sure it does much. Sure, return it to us. Stone cutter. And then what? And then what else to make? Uh, I could ship something else here. Yeah, we need two gold. We'll have that very soon. Oh, we do have two olives. I thought we only had one. That's great. So olives can be turned into olive oil with the press. Press. Okay. A nicer city than before. They need sanitation. I'll give them one trash heap out in the desert. Come to the Sahara Desert. You can look at it from the top of Mount Trashmore. Do you know Mount Trashmore? There's probably more than one in the world, but um, I'll show you the one that I went to uh, fairly recently. I guess like three or four years ago now. So Mount Trashmore in Iowa. For non-Americans, this is surely a joke on Mount Rushmore. And yeah, it's that. It is this absolutely gigantic, not save image, sorry. I'm gonna open the image instead. Yeah, this absolutely gigantic hill uh, overlooking whatever river that I can't remember. And so it's a, a trash heap. It's a trash heap that has been enclosed to like keep the methane inside maybe, and they have like a methane seeping system. I don't know how it works. Anyway, it's a trash heap. It's been covered over with a tremendous amount of, um, of dirt. And so now people can go hiking there. That's a really interesting way to uh, use a territory I think a lot of us think is just kind of wasteland, junk land. Um, so it's kind of funny that when you're having a nice experience of nature, you're standing on a pile, pile of uh, like uh, garbage bags and Coke bottles and so on. It's pretty cool. A uh, bunch of these over the world, not surprised at all. Not surprised at all. I just know this one in Iowa. And I think they have a sign that actually says... Mount Trashmore. Hey, there it is. <laughs> hey, there it is. <laughs> so, yeah, the sign says Mount Trashmore, and I find it absolutely delightful. I don't know what that says. Too much Japanese. Um, open image again. Yeah, there you go. Mount Trashmore. Trailx Limited. Obey trail closures. Check the website. When gate is closed, Mount Trashmore's closed. That's a nice thing, though. Oh, when I went there... The end of the hike was absolutely spoiled because up on top of Mount Trashmore, there was some group that was having some kind of like the end is nigh apocalyptic ceremony with a like amplified speaker and a microphone and they were yelling at everyone. So I don't know if this is a like public gathering or a public space that can't be restricted from free speech, but there were people up there shouting in Spanish about how the end is nigh. <laughs> I was very, very confused. It did not contribute to my enjoyment of nature, such as it is. <laughs> yeah, there we go. My story's about hikes in Iowa a very long time ago. Uh, yesterday, Noms and I were talking about do you want to stay in Japan long term? We always talk with, of course, every couple days, every couple weeks, and... Uh, this time she was feeling a, a lack of green space because in Tokyo there's just not much side of the parks. It's a lot of, uh, yeah, a lot of kind of empty, kind of sad uh, parks and so on. Also, I see that uh, my capital city is becoming Shinto. Huh. Huh. How do I stop that? Is there a secularized button? I know there's an adopt religion button. I don't see any way to force secularization, though. Unacceptable. I'm glad to see that people have education here now. So we have enough luxuries and enough education also. Yeah, but as we both grew up in the Midwest, uh, we're kind of used to, like, wide open spaces with lots of corn, I suppose. Uh, this army is going to go through here. It's still just heading north gradually. The tank, the tank. I know I could make more than one tank, but what's the fun in that? All right, good kill. Over this way, we're still rolling north again. 
Where did the religion come from? I actually don't know. I mean, Shintoism surely is Japanese in the real world. I have no idea what it is in the game. I uh, have any kind of locking of that. But. Sink the barbarians. Sunk one, good enough. This man of war is now full veterancy. Hey, more barbarians. Alright, so the northern area here appears to be a barbarian island. It seems. There are green places in Europe too. I mean, Noms does talk regularly about wanting to uh, to work in Berlin. There's a campus there that looks pretty cool. Um, I'm not sure if she's serious though. It would screw up the time at which I stream so badly. See, this is the one thing I never want to say. Uh, whenever Noms and I talk about should we move elsewhere, I always want to say, but, but my stream, my stream is doing so well. If we change our hours, it will stop doing well. <laughs> and that would be very, very sad. So, I don't know. I just want her to be happy with her work. If my wife's happy with her work, I think everything in our life is so much better. If she is not happy with our work, or her work rather, it's somewhat uh, harder for us all. And she's, she's okay with her work right now, but she does want a residential school. Our school run right now is non-residential, so... A little bit less student active all the time. I'm not going to attack the Germans immediately, except that they're the leader in in research. I can build a bunch of universities to help with that, but I don't know. Is the way in which I deal with not winning destroying everyone else? <laughs> Or can I find a peaceful outcome? Possibly, possibly, possibly. Uh, I don't think this barbarian encampment just north of here was here previously. He may have just spawned. Alright, continue north. So, if we're the only ones on the island here, then we need to probably build up a navy in case of invasion. But I... I sort of know, like I sort of know that we'd have time before anyone can invade us at this point. Now, eventually there'll probably be like transport planes and so on. Uh, another point in ingenuity. Uh, we're now up to four of 10, cheaper improvements again. Now, amazing how different cultures think about green space, whether it's a absolute necessity for life or instead a, a desirable. Um, the way in which I talked about this with my students recently was the question of um, do we think there's a human right to nature, whatever that means? And the students really split. Uh, on the whole, my American students said, yeah, yeah, part of a uh, full human life that we want to support legally is access to beautiful things. And my Japanese students said, eh, it'd be nice, but human rights, not so much. That's that they're a little bit less comfortable with rights talk than the Americans are, which is not a great surprise, I suppose. Okay, so looks like we've largely gotten to the north side here. John's popped out a Corsar. He'll join the stack also. And then continue heading uh, this way, I guess. Uppsala! Hello, Sweden! Our first time seeing a Swedish city. In the north here, we see a Swedish deployment also that's going to deal with the barbarians. As long as they don't attack my island barbarians, we're fine. Who's yellow? Who's yellow? Our first time finding Egypt. Ayy. Ayy. Uh, very cool to know. Very, very cool to know. My Kai Feng uh, has its... Sanitation fixed again. It definitely needs additional uh, housing once more. Let's go ahead and do that. So K is for Kai Feng. It's over here. And do we have space for housing? I'd like to expand this way eventually. For now, though, let's put a house down. Here. Uh, what are you making access of right now? Uh, they'd like to have additional ingots of copper or iron. Mm, we have hills here, we can definitely get that. So we want to spawn a 
Prospector for Gold in Fortaleza. I recall that recently. All right, so you go here, make gold. We then build a mine, and that'll make the jewelry shop work now. Deep mine, there it is. Cool. Um, a Kai Fing, we want to have an iron mine instead. And so that's a different kind of prospector. The iron prospector at 24. That'll be the next one we do then. Okay, arts. End Earth community. Warfare, we're very close to that 125. Soon, soon. We'll hang out and bombard still. I believe that. One turn for John to finish another troop. Abdera here looking good. Someone attacked Achilleon, though, and was certainly defeated. Barbarian explorers, only not explore their own death. Okay, a lot of territory here for building still. So, Abdera, what are you doing right now? Uh, everything it's producing, it's using currently. And it has fine wine. Fine wine instead of basic wine. Cool. Um, the wheat we have, we could turn into additional bread. So we need another mill first to make more flour, and then another oven as well. All right. So first the mill. Down here. Bit of desert. And then another oven. Haven't made a single literary salon uh, yet. Requires specialists. So let's see who has specialists first. To get that made. For now, though, the ovens. They are. We'll be able to unlock these next version of these pretty soon. Also, my barrel mound's on fire. Bring my barrel mound back. There we go. So, Abdera, do you have all your workers assigned? You do. And no one's on the barrel mound right now. We have quite a bit of food, so I'm going to strip this worker for now and move him to barrel mound for more culture points. Alright, and Abdera, what do you need? Um, sure, Emperor's Palace, that gives more government points. Yes. And War for XP also. Lu Yang, you need more food. Let's see if we can create more food for you also. So I'll go with Lu Yang. This one is having trouble with food. Ah, we already have fisher people here, unfortunately. So, could make a dock here instead. And expand this way, hopefully. But the food situation's getting a little bit dicey. We can make more gold here also, but we're lacking with space to turn to jewelry. So Lu Yang could send jewels elsewhere, or gold elsewhere. There's no space for jewelry. All right, we'll think about that in a little bit. Because I wasn't, because I wasn't hyper focused on all of the um, gradual building up of uh, our improvements throughout the past days of play. It's hard to go back now and fix them all. Uh, next time we play, a new playthrough will do a much better job on that. Sweden wishes me to come to arms. We're at war with Egypt. By the terms of the alliance, let's be united in war against a common foe. I don't have enough boats to help you, but sure I'll try. Germany has gotten to the age of revolutions. Uh, in this era, revolutions appear to free your regions and form new nations. So we need to have strong defense everywhere. We generate power to prevent brownouts and blackouts from modern buildings and improvements. And lastly, assemble an air force. An air force in the 1800s? Like, is it just going to be a bunch of dirigibles and, and bombs from the sky? air balloons it's 1804 and we have roads with yellow lines in the middle i guess i didn't realize that that's something so far back i really assumed it was the 1900s when you start getting better roads like that huh well cool <laughs> balloons did exist it is a kind of air force just strange this age may go through uh world war one that would make some sense all right culture's finished again Social doctrine, I believe. All right. 
So if I put it into warfare, upkeep is cheaper. We do not care about that. If I increase expansion cost, we'll grow faster. It's still very expensive to expand now. Community lowers unrest, eh. Let's continue making it cheaper to do improvements. I have so many improvement points though, it's kind of silly. Uh, Gian, do you have specialist workers now? Not yet. When the university is finished, we haven't started it. University will make one specialist. Academy of Science will make three specialists. I mean, we need three specialists. I don't know. Whichever way the Academy of Science will build next and see how it works out. That means then we have one more guard to send into a boat. And then you two together. Next turn, we'll head over this way. We'll finally have our invasion force ready. Uh, because rebellions might start anywhere next era, uh, I'm actually going to keep some of my larger armies uh, in the south. We don't want to pivot absolutely everyone that way. This group, though, could level up some more. While we're waiting for the age of revolutions, let's head in this direction and blast our way through a bunch of barbarians. Uh, our merchant here is getting to Zheng Zhao now. I'll give it additional monies. And yeah, deploying here, well, as vassal, sorry. Deploy wealth. Oh, you can only go to other people's territory. Never mind. I thought you could have a merchant in your own territory. That's just not true. It has to be either a vassal or uh, an ally, or not an ally, a other capital, another nation generally. Uh, so you finish with this. I think we're gonna leave this army in Baghdad for now. This army at Fortaleza is fine. This army, um, I guess I'll just keep right here between the two cities. It's the era of not attacking Germany. That said, that said, we're at war with the Egyptians via Sweden. So I'll at least have my boat up here to see what I can do. I should probably bring all of my boats in the same direction towards Egypt and try to give some war score that way. Now, I'm not sure if this game is like other Paradox games, where there's an expectation that you uh, contribute to the wars you're called into, or if the game does not particularly care if you actually show up. <laughs> uh, this is the Egyptian border. Um, I don't see any ships yet. News from abroad, Sweden and Egypt at war. We can make our Iron Prospector. Uh, where did I want that Iron Prospector? Hmm, need more reminders. I think it was in Rome? Question mark, question mark? No, Rome does not need additional iron right now. I think it was in Fortaleza. I think this is false, by the way. Yeah, it is. <sighs> what was I trying to do? Kaifeng, maybe? Yes, Kaifeng needs iron right here. That's what it is. So Kaifeng, spawn, iron prospector there, and go here, and produce iron. Cap. Gonna mine on that. Mine? Okay. We now need one more blast furnace. Okay. We now have one extra ingot. That ingot can be used to make tools or weapons. Um, for right now, I want weapons to increase our warfare amount. So we need to clear cut this forest, which costs 50. Uh, so right now we just get the iron. Um, I also want to destroy something else. We also have some spare, uh, spare limestone we could use for sculpture, but with what space, I'm just not sure. So I never made a farm there, super awkward. We have additional fishing here if we want to. Like I said, I want a dock instead. Or a harbor, better yet. Harbor's here. Uh, we can now begin making the 
uh, west coast, maybe, if we want to, eventually. Uh, you all guard up here again. So saving for 50 points, cut down that to get us a weapons maker in particular to help us get more weapon, weapons XP. The fleet of Jian is finally finished. Get over here. We now have a giant fleet with an explorer that should be able to take over the Barbarian Islands. Uh, this group I'm bringing to stand in the middle of Rome. In case of... Oh, shoot. No, this group, <laughs> once again, <laughs> once again, this group is going to... He went back. There we go. The group is going to go fight the barbarians. That is your goal in life. Uh, Merchant is going to head up to Syracuse. Give him some more prosperity. Hooray. Hopefully they can use that money to expand and build up a little faster. My army of Baghdad stays there. Army of Fortaleza stays there. Extra boat. Wish to go bother Egyptians. Still in Egyptian territory, but we deal with these folks. All right, so here's our first Egyptian city. Uh, the Egyptian city there does not have walls, so if I wanted to help the Swedes, an invasion here would make a lot of sense. I would need to move one of my armies from the north that way. I do have an army by my capital. It's not really doing terribly much. It's three cannon. Okay. Let's get in boats. And then this group will go actually help the war I promised to help with. And I think I probably need another army, but I need Gian to make more universities first. I wonder, the, wonder what the largest size city is. Or if cities can just keep growing, keep growing, keep growing. All right, our undefended fleet starts moving north. And that is clearly not ideal. <laughs> uh, is there more land between me and uh, Egypt? Possibly so. There's a lot more to see, of course. Uh, you all, deal with barbarians. Shoot pretty fast. The barbarians are still wearing their horned helmets. Looking like something out of uh, the Flintstones. Brains dealt with. Nice. I'm going to try to move this ship. Actually, the other ship. Ah, yeah, I should move this ship to go support the Galleons. Not uh, Galleons, the transport ship, rather. So I'm actually not going to take that fight. Instead, drop back to try to support them. You all beat up barbarians again. Good. Take that canoe. Clear cuts. Uh, so you can now clear cut in preparation to make something. <laughs> Guy Fang. <laughs> it was a uh, a weaponsmith. So engineering clear cuts there. Build weaponsmith. There it is. Excellent. Hot. Right. We can now choose a commander perk again. I like the idea of my commanders being able to heal their armies. Great. Are my cities too close together, too far apart, or just right? Um, a combination. Like, some are nicely separated. Others are definitely jammed in too much. Um, but I think that's kind of inevitable in this game. If you can't destroy cities then you can only expand so far before you run into one of them. But I don't have enough expertise yet to say exactly how far apart they should be, ideally. But Jean needs more territory. Jean can actually get a little more territory there. More clear-cutting is what comes next. Also, friends, it's been another hour of playtime, so we're going to take a quick break now and do a little bit more crossword, hopefully, hopefully. How's the game's performance? I think it feels fine. Like, definitely it's a little chugging when you attempt to go from uh, one side of the map to the other. 
but nothing feels especially problematic for me, at least not now. Uh, notes on Mount Fuji say, notes on Mount Fuji, so it could be musical notes possibly, uh, could be like a writing about Mount Fuji, so a climber's log maybe. Um, traditional Japanese music uses a different scale than the West does, but three letters is not enough for whatever scale it is. Forgotten now. Beginner you're just not for the real gameplay? Absolutely, Jerry Fodor. Absolutely. Uh, don't blow it. I don't know. What should you not blow on? A weather vane. It's confusing. Uh, anchor's position. The aft. The ship. On someone's arm for the tattoo. No idea. Highly irregular. Um, constipated. Um, happening randomly. Not sure. First name in quantum physics. Welp, we got Niels. We got Albert. We got... What's his name? Um, the box guy... And then to make fun of the Copenhagen Schrodinger. Erwin, I believe, Schrodinger? We'll see. A Harlem Renaissance artist, Douglas. Um, resorting this an opportunity to do a crossword puzzle only stream for April Fools. Resorty intentionally decided against this because Resorty's brain would have exploded. <laughs> so, today's a normal stream. Hey, Chaswick, thanks for the resubscription, friend. Thank you for using your Prime sub with us. You see the ads, you push the button, it's great. A plastic cap, no idea. It could be like a limitation of parts per million uh, on, on our water, maybe. Um, Child of Homer, oh, that's funny. You immediately think the poet Homer, nope, it's probably Bart or Lisa or Maggie. Maggie doesn't fit. So uh, Bart and Lisa share no characters. That said... Lisa has more vowels, and put Lisa in, and we'll see. Equipment for some games. I don't know. Dice. Uh, a net. Let's put dice in and see what's right. A Spanish pronoun. I mean, what is it? So, ella is a woman. Ella el los les una. Let's put una in. We'll see if that's right for now. A home for a mouse often. Disney. Um, between the walls. A den, maybe? Not sure. A uh, press forward. Uh, push the W key. Press forward. Persist, persevere, unsure. A word with the word cross or through. A through way, cross way. That would work, but it's too short. Uh, across the kind of pass, in football at least. Hmm. Like uh, cross swords, through swords, no. A personification of the rainbow in Greek mythology. If only nouns were here. I, I know this somewhere in my head, it'll come up eventually. Uh, the Knight of Nike, a Phil Knight. Phil Knight. This is kind of funny also, because N-I-K-E is also a, uh, a goddess. A uh, Sanskrit for thread is sutra. Uh, help on the job. Help on the job. Uh, no idea. Chow blank could be chow main. I think it's also a chow yun fat, maybe. Uh, it's mine. Which way it's spelled? Yeah. Uh, EI. A certain digital application. I don't know. Microsoft Word. <laughs> uh, yield could just be stop. or <laughs> Yield could be stop or it could be gain. That's fascinating. All right, we'll do the last three and then get back to the game. Uh, the Wind in the Willows character with a broad, glistening muzzle. Uh, Wind in the Willows has, like, frog and toad or whatever, right? Mr. Frog, I can't remember. No idea. Uh, option for buying vintage. Buying vintage. Could be, like, wine buying. It could be buying vintage clothing. It could be buying vintage lots of things. Uh, Lee, who directed Billy Lynn's Long Halftime Walk. No idea. All right, with the crosses done, we feel fairly good about a lot of those. Not sure about all of them, but we'll see you in an hour or so. So, 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 so. We're full up on arts again. Let's get community once more. It's our first community point ever. Reducing unrest. 
do not know if that's uh, useful going to the Age of Revolution, or if Revolution just fire randomly. Whichever way, we shall see. Diplomacy, I'm saving for Tolerance again. Arts, maybe I should go Arts into uh, the Artiste. It says 215 points for a boost in culture. It doesn't say how much culture. Hmm. We can also have artists spawn artwork, which is a luxury good. I'll save for community again, I guess. Okay. So engineering is saving for the clear cut. Good. That's a turn. It is a turn. Oh, John has a little more open territory. Let's look at that next uh next turn so we can put there. I think we just finished our bit of research. Can we do new upgrades now? 1807 is upon us. All right, so what is the upgrade now available? It is uh, bakeries instead of merely ovens. Research done. The public sphere. So we can now make a police department. We can now make a bakery. We can now hold more towns in a region. Which means we can finally have Jean accept the, uh, the outpost. I'm waiting for such a long time. Uh, society gives me what? Shopping centers, higher level markets, public libraries, more knowledge, and coffee house <laughs> converts tier coffee to analytics. A social hub serving coffee and snacks. I've spent many a day sitting in a coffee house talking pure blarney. <laughs> Clearly absolute nonsense. <laughs> Cost 23 specialists. Wow. I don't know how we get that many specialists. Or is it one specialist per turn on the university? It might be. Let's see. Let's try society. Okay. Um, bakery upgrades. There's something else. Right. Jian has an open space in the south here. Also, must build outpost again. So outpost is pioneer, which is engineering. 72 points instead of clear cut. Fine. Jean's open tile. What do I want to do with that? All right, we have a bunch of extra goods here. Um, so much iron, uh, some rice. Some meat. We have a kitchen for delicacies. They have no good delicacies here yet. So much fish. So much everything. <laughs> I honestly don't know what to do here. There's just too much we could possibly do. All right, what I see though is we have some spare ingots. Let's make a weaponsmith to get more weapon points to finish out warfare faster, hopefully. All right, bring me the weapon smith. There it is. I wonder if that'll eventually become an armory or something. Uh, upgrade our bread makers then. Zheng Zhao has a lot of space also. Your economy has stone. Let's get in the sculpture garden for more art points. Sculpting studio. There we go. You also have spare. Um, wool, so we can have another textile maker here. And I think that this flax is not yet made into a farm. We should definitely do that. It's a cash crop plantation there. And then a couple of weavers would be good. Hmm, every time I open this page, I know I'm going to be staring. There it is, the textile mill. Maybe we want two of those. Uh, this page is, fills me with dread. I think I'll never memorize exactly how it fits together. But we have textiles now. So we still have an excess limestone. The game would like at least... Wait, limestone or marble? Months two. So can I make another limestone somewhere? I believe we can make limestone literally anywhere. because of the kind of early game uh, engineering we chose. Quarry, 
Nope, gotta be hills, unfortunately. Ah, so the art studio does nothing. I could send some... Um, I could send some stone here. This is very, very silly to do, though. And there are no hills here, correct? Oh, this pasture is... I think it's already upgraded, yeah. Uh, enough for now. So, we can finally move the big fleets. Uh, this big fleet is heading to the north to support the invasion of uh, the invasion of Egypt. So protect as we can. This fleet is the explorer fleet heading to the island way down here. I'm going to move my bombardment ship back to support it. Continue killing barbarians. And I see Germans to the north there. The Germans with their hot air balloon are going to take this camp. I've done all the hard work to draw the archers away. This is how they repay me. Uh, you're also dropping back to try to support. Oh, fight barbarians is fine, actually. And this ship needs repair up at some point soon. Oh, speaking of ships, friends, it's time for your daily update on Moby Dick. Uh, last night, I read through three chapters, I mean, four chapters, three of which were about artwork. Any artwork that Melville knows of about whales and what's wrong with all of it. <laughs> there was one chapter on scientific drawings of whales and what's wrong with them. There's one chapter on literary presentations of whales, what's wrong with them, and then one chapter on craftsmanship in whales, like door knockers, and what's wrong with them. As we said previously, this book is majority just everything that Herman Melville knows about whales. <laughs> so, <laughs> this is why this book is such a slog. Like, it's all super interesting, but the actual narrative part has got to be like a third of the book. And their two-thirds are just more and more. Here's some facts about whales. Here's some life on the uh, the whaling ship. I'm enjoying it. I'm glad I'm reading it. But my goodness, I'm not sure I'll ever actually finish it. <laughs> no, I will. So you went to the bookstore yesterday, mm, two days ago. And I told myself, Resorty, you don't need any more books. And then I bought three new books. One of which is written by a woman because on Saturday, my wife made fun of me and said I don't read enough books by women. So I bought one of Elena, uh, Elena Ferrante's books. You might know Elena Ferrante does not exist. Uh, we do not know who wrote the book. Uh, we think it's probably a particular woman from, uh, uh, from Italy, but it's just not clear who wrote it. I got one of hers. Uh, I got this year's new Man Booker book, uh, which I don't know who it's written by, but I'm trying to read all the Man Bookers, always. Uh, and then I also uh, picked up one of William Gaddis's books I've not read yet. So more reading ahead. I can't wait, can't wait. <laughs> Moby Dick, thank you for subscribing to Whale Facts. It's absolutely true. And I know I'm doing it to myself, but I had promised to I promised to read Moby Dick eventually. And I said it on stream every few weeks. And now we're really doing it. Chaos, the Luddites! There's been growing backlash against the rapid development of technology in China, and anger has been directed at books and printers for ruining the minds of the generation. We give everyone 20 books. Egypt wants peace. Now, I don't know if this means that Sweden peaces out also, but I will accept this thing. That may have been a mistake. We, we are bringing a fleet over. I probably should have used that. Well, we'll have that go ahead and clear some of the other islands. Uh, I don't know if they're allowed to unland. They are. So the troops go fly out of the ship. They do have a malice, though. There's a combat modifier, I assume, for getting out of the boats. It does not matter, though. What do you mean, your home? What are you talking about, your home? <laughs> uh, I think I might make a, a colony here to get that tobacco. Playing through the real genocide now. And there are some parts of a Moby Dick that are very funny, uh, which I did not see when I was reading them earlier. Uh, in the second or third chapter, there's a section where you meet a, uh, 
Ah, uh, what is he? You meet a retired seaman who's now a pastor, and he spends all of his time comparing the glory of God to whaling. It's pretty funny. But there are other sections that are meant as humor that are not funny at all anymore. Uh, in particular, there's a chapter in which um, Melville talks about what whale meat tastes like, because haven't you always wondered, what's whale meat taste like? Uh, but as part of this, he has a, a discourse between a... Um, like a, a, an officer and a like clearly I think even says a uh, black character who's in his 90s and he writes in dialect and I hate this so much he like has really over the top pronunciation of, of the various uh, words he wants the character to say and it is it is very very awkward <laughs> to read that as a person now here in the year uh, 2024 uh, writers writing in dialect not a fan uh, I think the Academy of Sciences has now given me some specialists. When you build it, you get 10 specialists. So we'll make the police department, I guess. Though all it gives me is just more unrest suppression. We don't need that right now. We'll build a university instead. And here we go. We now have 13 specialists. Uh, we get three every turn now. And for literary salon, we need two. All right. I wish to have my very first literary salon to give us... What was it again? Can't remember what it was. I think it's probably just more uh, points in education or something. Dystopia Crisis! What? What? Check that one out. So my capital does not have any space for this particular kind of building right now. Soon it will. So Chang Chun got the first one, though. Uh, Literary Salon makes one more uh, demand for education. So education, not knowledge. Uh, am I allowed to go forward? So I can't see what comes out of the Age of Revolution. Apparently there's a crisis called the Dystopia. If you have three crisis events. We've not had any, so it must be Germany doing so. Uh, Abdera get to size 17. I'll need education eventually. For right now, though, I want Abdera to start pushing out. Maybe it's not Abdera. I thought it's Kiafang. Kaifang, rather. Is Abdera on the ocean? It is not on the ocean. So they can just build what they want to build instead. Uh, let's get you. You have no unrest. You do have guards then. How about another guard? That'd be good. Rome, Rome, Rome. Would like more sanitation. I'll give them a trash heap in a moment. Fortaleza needs a town, ideally. Rome, do you have space for trash heap? Indeed you do. Ideally in a desert tile would be best. Oh. Have fun driving on your road through the trash heap. Uh, we're close on government for incorporating someone else. I'm still hoping that when we change the age of revolution, we can get a new government type. Because strictly speaking, governments are always better as you move forward. Uh, we're getting close to our new pioneer. Also, Chang Chun is doing nothing. It needs more education and more food also. I think we established we can't make more food here. It's going to have to have food imported. We'll look at that in a moment. For education, though, it's very expensive to get to the museum and such. So I'd like to put a um, public school in this tile. We'll hit that now. So Cheng Chun. Yeah, just has no territory. Um, it has an excess of sanitation. What else is it not actually using right now? The bones, the bones, the bones. I believe if we get rid of this, we can now put schooling there. Is that true? Is that civics? It is. There you go. Deers go away. We now have plenty of education with Chang Chun. Can I cut down the mysterious jungle? 
I'm just curious. Uh, you may not cut down the mysterious jungle. It gets to stay forever, even though we don't believe in mysteries anymore. Oh, we have, we have fishing tiles. We have fishing tiles. Let's help with the food quite a bit. Hey, there we go. Still at 137, so we need a fair more. Hey, Sims, I am doing well. Hope you're doing well also. Thanks for stopping in and saying hello. Appreciate that. Almost as much as these people appreciate me finding the way to make more fish. I always forget, these people have water tiles and get fish very, very, very easily. That's all we can make for right now. That's fine, though. Our turn is done. How many more moves until the explorers reach the southern islands? We did offload one army on that island there. So I'll need a settler soon. Okay. It is now the year 1809. Innovation. The Immortals. The Old Guard from China have developed a reputation for survivability and been given the name of Immortal by other soldiers. Our Old Guards then gain more defense, more morale also. Both the Grenadiers and the Cavalry. Cool. And some of those, I think, heading with the Explorer right now. Uh, Barbarian's dealt with here, so this army is now not really needed for anything. They're the ones that move down towards Rome, though in preparation for eventual revolutions. All right. This turn, our bombarding ship can get to the island. This turn, the explorer and such can go ahead and attack the elite barbarians. Please don't kill the explorer. Our cannon did basically no damage. Explorer takes hit number one. Let's see how it resolves. The explorer is a feared but is not killed. Uh, explorer still has plenty of health. We're going to be fine. He's not used to the violence of the natives. Uh, so proper military stack versus town. Wow. One cannon blast, one gunman. Barbarians been taken over. They left behind an exotic looking curio. We have way too much money, so let's go ahead and get some more knowledge. Speeding on research a little bit. And this boat's not really needed here anymore. There is some gray territory to the north. We'll go ahead through the fog of ignorance and see what we can find. After this battle, which is now done, we have to just start healing ourselves and have the men on board start trading more HP. Uh, this pioneer can now be spawned. I'm going to spawn it at the west side of Vion. This is my seventh time doing this. This time it will all work correctly. This time it must work correctly. All right. Pioneer spawn the cannon. Did you not spawn him? Uh, Pioneer spawn. There we go. So you, my friend, are gonna start moving over. You, my friend, will get me coffee. You, my friend, will make a city. We'll name the city after you for sure. I'd like to find ways to produce additional knowledge points. I believe that paper mills do it. Um, paper is made out of trees, so if we can find some place that has a whole bunch of trees, it would be useful. I'll hit that in a moment. Um, for now, though, these cannons head to Rome still, so I'm going to click here, and they'll get there in four turns. These ones continue fighting the natives. Hey, they spawned... Oh, this is the explorer group. Uh, we clear the island first. Not fine. We have a bombarding ship, can bombard this one. One shot, one sink. Cool. Uh, next turn then, we'll have our bombarding ship bombard here first, and then we'll take it with the Explorer. All right, getting closer and closer to that coffee. How more turns it gonna be? Uh, if we attack into here, we guarantee it win, despite there having a decent army inside. 
Hopefully Ken would fire first. Hey, there you go. Ken has destroyed everything. Oh, these guys don't even have clubs. This guy in the middle has just his fists. Oh, the colonies. Don't tell the people back home what they were doing in their name. Our brand tapestries. Let's find some beautiful tapestries. War for XP or arts. I want the warfare to help us get us additional commander perks. So now let's go ahead and spawn higher combat XP. So more veterancy on everybody. We get beyond just the gold tier veterancy. You guard up. This ship can continue rolling. I want to go find what's in the north. Nothing's in the north. Abdera's again idle. Still floor everything. It wants sanitation, though. I'll have to make them a filth pit. That's right. A filth pit. That's Abdera. Okay, they have a decent number of trees here. So this could be a place to start making more paper. So... I don't remember how many trees it is per paper mill. But for now, we get the logging camp there. That produces for us. Oh, we need more flour. Huh. Something's weird here then. We have two wood right now. Let me run through that. I don't know why we. We have a bakery and a farm. Do we not have a mill here, possibly? Yeah, we have no mill. Or we do have a mill. We have too many bakeries, possibly. Mill, mill, bakery. The bakery takes four flour, makes four bread. So as of right now, we have four going into four bread, which means there is another bakery somewhere, or another yeah, bakery somewhere. So I destroy this one bakery. Do we still have functions? Now we do. I must have made a second bakery out realizing there already was one. We have grapes as well. The grapes we use to make wine. Let's do that while we're thinking about it. The winery. There it is. So now we have two wood. I want to use that to make paper. The paper mill takes two logs, makes two paper. So it looks like it uses a water wheel. Apparently not. And then the paper mill can be used to make the printing press, which has more knowledge and luxury also. Hey, Rainer, you think you like this UI? There's been a lot of complaints about the UI. I mean, I like it also. It works absolutely fine for me. But I think some people are not big fans. Okay, so another textile mill. Nope. Sorry, another wood mill, rather. Logging camp goes there. And then we need another rod of points right now. Uh, we could spend engineering points to get more. Let's not do that. So next turn, Abdera needs more work. We can do that soon. Um, government points, we're nearly at cap. We're gonna stay up for organization. I just know we can make a settler to go settle the islands. We'll do that in a few turns, probably. On diplomacy, save for tolerance. On arts, the same. That, I believe, is a turn. Unless I wanna use government to incorporate additional cities. The former capital of the Zulus is in absolutely terrible shape. They're not being able to repair their own cities. <laughs> so I'm considering taking over just to fix this. Uh, yeah, yeah, or how much to take you over? It's not fully integrated. Never mind, I'll do that in the future, but this is a bit of a mess down here. Uh, poor Umungdluvu. I'm sure I said that just right. Hey, they repaired a little bit. Good job, good job. They're getting two gold there and don't have a jeweler. <gasps> Barbarians attack my fishing vessels. What? What? Uh, that must be fixed immediately. So I have... I have these ships. 
If I turn these ships into transport vessels, they could go fight that off, but they can't move for a single turn. Let's go get some uh, barbarian cities. Hey, Erdmithrin, it's going very well. It's good seeing you. It's been a little bit, I think. Hope you're doing well, Erdmithrin. Having a really fun day, though. We're rolling through barbarians now. Here we discovered some artifacts for our people. It's one turn worth of culture. Uh, did I get the um, the pioneer placed yet? I did not. Also, barbarians, rebels. You say you want a revolution. So we're not in the age of revolution, but the Germans are. I wonder if these are German rebels coming down. Why are there rebels everywhere? Huh. Huh. Well, huh. <laughs> so again, we're still in the age of enlightenment. We should not be getting rebels in our territory. That said, that said, that said, all right, we deployed armies down this way for exactly this purpose. Now, I wonder if they're gonna attack into my city or just rabble, rabble, rabble around. I think they all just spawned, because I didn't see them last turn. Oh, there's an army near Rome. It's this one. They can't quite get to the hill this turn. Next turn, they'll fight. Oh, we're gonna finish dealing with the barbarian camp here and find the undiscovered territory. Which is a, a Star Trek movie, right? The Undiscovered Country, maybe? All right, walls down. Charge! Goodbye, barbarians. We're spreading the culture everywhere. Camp in the Wild. Wild? I don't know how to say this word. It means a, a tree tree-like area, I believe. Barbarians know the lands well. They're difficult to fight in territory. We study them, gaining more war for XP. Commander's gonna command. We can now unlock the old guard grenadier. We get one grenadier our capital. We need 201 points to finish out our commander line. Gonna be good. All right. So at my capital, I have one spare Old Guard Grenadier. So our unrest is going down by 6.5 per turn, despite the fact that I do not have that many troops there. That's actually not as much as I was hoping it would be. Hoping for a lot more. I need to keep my Prospector now hiding. Someday we'll have that outpost again. That might be a highest priority for me. It's a large army at Fortaleza, which is now mine. And so we have a slight word about unrest there. For now, though, I'm going to uh, drive out the uh, military and see what we can take. One group of revolutionaries. You foolish, foolish boys. Do you hear the people sing? No, you don't, because you're dead. <laughs> I'm sorry, that's very mean. I shouldn't say that. <laughs> uh, all right. Um, for one turn, I march his army out. We won't lose our capital unrest in one turn. Didn't even win. Didn't even win. Uh, maybe next turn. Um, so many troops. So many troops. I have another group in Luyang. I'm not going to move them until we see these people attack or just stay in the hills. Yeah, move the army out of Luyang. Go back home, please. <laughs> Definitely misclick. Uh, the fishing boat I'd like to protect, but I believe we established we don't have any ship right nearby. Let's see here. So this is one big navy. This group is called the navy because at one point they were in boats. You're not a navy. That's pretty tricky. Uh, here are the proper navies. So some of these are fishing navies. This is a proper military navy. It's waiting here. Um... To support the fishing vessels would take a very, very long time. 
Let's head on our way to help, though. And then you're going to run away towards a dock. You probably get caught out next turn, but we'll see. But the other one in the north here is also kind of far away from where the fishing fleets are being hassled. We'll try to go help down here, though. News from abroad. Sweden and Egypt are at peace once more. So, uh, we left this war earlier. At the end of it, who is stronger and who's a weaker? Egypt has seven regions. Sweden has six. Egypt is 5,400 versus Sweden's 2,400. Well, it looks like Egypt got the better of that war. Is Japan still number one? Japan is at 3516. No, no, no. They're at 5,000 before. Huh, I wonder why Japan was weakened. Yeah, absolutely no idea. Absolutely no idea. How's Germany doing? Our nearest enemy. We're beating Germany for right now. Good. All right. All right. All right. Lu Yang needs more housing. Let's do that one. Thinking about it. So much trolling. Lu Yang can have housing. That's a hill. No, it can't. I wonder if housing's on fire. I don't think the rebels destroyed anything. Um, well, they don't need housing quite yet, but pretty soon they might. I need to have some immigration throw people out. Uh, there must have been tools here before, so I assume they burnt those down. Nothing here gives me additional housing. The barracks help us make more troops if need be. A reminder organization. Hooray! Another point in good governance, expansion cheaper again. We have a capital attack. Keep out Syracuse. There's a tiny bombardment. So everywhere we have some little capital attacks. But they are kind of depressingly weak. Only had proper guns on the walls. Man, this is going to be firing about the entire Age Revolution. It's going to be a little bit much. Who's miseducating the youth? How do I get propaganda going at once? I do wonder if we'll lose at least one city to Revolution. We fought against Revolutionary China at the very beginning of the game. I do wonder if lots of different folks break off, if they will... Um, all be listed as Revolutionary China, or if they get different titles. All right, this next turn, my explorer can finally explore the undiscovered whatever that is. So Revolutionaries are attacking the cities now. And looks like Munich is to blame here. I, b I believe that once anyone's in the Age Revolution, everyone gets attacked by it. Uh, and the revolutionaries are attacking into cities. And outposts. And outposts. That's a Durban design of walls. These are vassals being attacked. <laughs> I can't imagine any revolution like this where every single city in a nation is attacked simultaneously. Have we even invented the radio yet? How are they telling each other? Unless there's an excellent tapping of the, uh, the telegraph. Or at least the cities are still holding. But they're destroying a bunch of improvements. Another outpost. Rough. And my towns. And my towns. Attacking German outposts also. What did I do? It's a random event, I believe, that happens during this age. Or the next age, rather. Alright, everyone's attacked. Did we lose any cities, I wonder? I think we have an indication of being, like, Revolutionary China if we did. So, I think everything held so far. Cool, I suppose. So, Xi'an's army was attacked into. I'm gonna send them back inside the city. Jean has an open slot. 
I need more troops. Let's make our first ever recon balloon. Cool. Um, let's go to our exploration. Most excited to do that. It's on this island, I believe? Yes. So explorers gonna discover this. This landmark has been discovered for China. The Great Barrier Reef is mine. So more exploration XP, more combat XP, and in a moment here, our explorer can have an expedition because no one's explored the Great Barrier Reef ever. I sure do hope we know how snorkeling works. We've got some doubts on that though. Uh, and this army outside of the explorer should now head home to go support our various cities. Yeah, this city has no army on it, so it'll be a useful one. And then is it worth trying to repair? Oh, this is a vassal, I can't repair the things. Some of the other cities, like this one, need some repairing also. They have a very small army left, and their walls still stand, so I think they can fight off more. As far as what's on fire here right now? Our right, city of Kelion has two groups of musketeers against rebels equipped with merely hand axes. I believe a Kelion will hold on. Right, you all guard up there. This cannon force is heading down support. I think Rome has more people around it. So we'll hit here first. I'm suddenly wanting the Age of Plagues back. Because though plagues were super annoying, at least they didn't attack us. <laughs> it's kind of sat there for a while. All right, so no one's immediate on Fortaleza except for this group down here. We can't roll that far. Let's get back into the city for now. And I'll head down to fight these next turn. All right. Fighting barbarians is probably not necessary because we're already full up on veterancy points here. Hooray. Now, actually, the leader is not quite, but next turn we'll send these folks back home also. And this navy is attempting to go stop the barbarians who are attacking my sailing ship here. We'll continue moving along into the dock there. Alright, so the defense of Haifei succeeded. Keep them guarded. We have an army inside here that's attacked. I'm going to move out to finish the group off. Our city guards still have uh, shields. I wonder if we get police officers eventually. Alright, city guards here could upgrade. Oh, that's so we need the upgrade points for mobility on the commander line. All right, we have another explorer here. Why do I have a second explorer? I have absolutely no idea why I have two explorers. Oh, he'll join the defense of the territory. All right, Kai Feng needs housing. Kai Feng needs more culture also. We can finish culture now. I want to use our next culture for integrating the outpost that does not exist, so we'll use it for something else instead. Let's take um, let's take Eureka to try to speed up finishing society research now. So make coffee houses and libraries and all the rest. All right, now it is time for the Age of Revolution. It's twelve turns away. Another round of capital tax. Don't mind if I do. And again, these just weaken a little bit. Uh, the place we just looked at did not have walls, so I think if anywhere falls, Durban will be it. The places that have only one enemy next to them, I prefer if the cap attack were to auto target. It just feels very strange to say, okay, cap attack on, well, who do I choose? Uh, the only group here. Any other rushing walls? No, it's a vassal, unfortunately. If it weren't a vassal, I could start the walls and then use money to finish them. Uh, but it's a vassal, so I can't build that at all. Uh, the German army has gotten to our borders fighting rebels. Um, the Germans have definitely a larger army than I do on this continent. But 
looking like if we get ours back home, it should be a similar strength. Durban has been lost. All right, fine. So we have one revolutionary China out there. That should be the only one lost, I think. I'll deal with it presently. I wonder if they're revolutionary Germany, or if they lost anything so far. I see that Munich has no walls also, which is bizarre. So whenever we go to war against um, Germany, uh, Munich is the first target. We just lost a city also. So I think we need to get a point now where our cities have guards as well as our capitals. It's all right. It's all right. Okay. Another round done. So Explorer, let's have an expedition. The Great Barrier Reef Expedition. The reef stretches for miles and teams of aquatic wildlife. A natural treasure like this one demands thorough exploration. All right, we can pay some engineering points I'm not using right now except for clear-cutting, make special boats, or 30 exploration XP to send a survey team first. Let's survey the location. All right, this fleet is carrying a further round of soldiers. I think I'm going to have them just work their way over to the recently lost territory, which is, I don't recall where. <laughs> uh, it's down here. So how many turns to get there? Only six. All right, get to a team. And the army at Jian is still holding out, so we'll keep him there. Cheng Chun has lost a bunch of stuff. They're burning everything. I think after the... I think after the revolution's done... Wait, are they spawning more revolutionaries? Huh. I haven't gone through and counted... But I worry the revolutionaries may be constant. In which case I can't keep my improvements up at all. <laughs> that would be terrible. Well, we continue rolling through with some of these armies. So for the moment, Kai Feng looks okay. Let's go ahead and roll through this side. You all stay on defense. You all stay on defense. They may attack into Haifei, which lets full deployment of guards, which we had more though. Okay, you all run back into Luyang. There's no leader in this group, so we can't do the leader heals one another. Uh, the barbarians have come to my fishing port. It's better to die. Uh, we can go defeat the Barbarians before they attack my fishing boats. Finally! Finally! Hooray! Cut. The fishing boat is now safe once more. You can stay there for right now, my friend. Fort Leza. Yes, we can just roll against these. Can't quite get there. So stay guarded up for now. Okay, um, so one island cleared out for the great glory that is China. So we're going to get back in boats. And then roll to the port the area around our capital, which is teeming with enemies. Next turn we'll go there. Speaking of the capital, more bombardments. Both equally weak here. Uh, we'll see. Ah, oh, shoot. Shot the wrong direction. Well, the group that's quite weak surely will not take safety by itself. But we are losing militia there. So moving the big stack over here to help will be very good. It's about noon my time, folks. Usually about an hour or more of stream. We'll see how that goes. Time is flying by as oil playing this one. It's just one more turn, one more turn, one more turn. I do wonder what other kind of delightful crisis events we'll see. Delphi might fall. As long as we don't lose the capital, we're okay.
So to make more towns, I believe, is culture. We have to start saving more culture for sure. And now I wish I had more... More outposts. Seiza holds yet. Revolutionary China warns us. Forces too close to the borders. Nice to meet you, Revolutionary China. <laughs> it is so strange. That event is always so incredibly strange. Look, it's Revolutionary China. They just want to be friends, don't you worry. I will help take the trouble off of Seiza now. Uh, did Revolutionary China take something else over? No, they only have the one still. It's a second Revolutionary China. I thought they imagined themselves the heroes of the prior war, but no. Uh, so we can re-guard there. Jean is still holding just fine. We have a hot air balloon. We can deploy the balloon, lowering its movement, but increasing its vision. For now, we'll just stay in the city, but at some point, we might well send the balloon out to look around. Upgrade to a shopping center. Shopping centers give us even more diplomacy and culture. Police department or public library for even more education. Education's getting low, so we'll hit that one. Even though I do need more troops, of course. All right, the boats are coming to support the capital. Here they come. We'll offload next turn. These boats are heading around to the one bit we lost. Uh, I should probably threaten Revolution China, Revolution China. Yeah, hostilities for now. In two turns, war once more. Wu Hong still holds. Amazingly, the one cannon there is doing some real work. Haifei still holds also. So Haifei has been wounded. At least the group of guards there. So, that's definitely a misclick. Undo that, please. Go back inside your house. Thank you. I'm going to go and run another guard unit to support Haifei. Good. And then Zheng Zhao, in three turns, can build more troops. Hope I'm separating decently here. My army at Wuhang hold out. Continue the expedition. The reef's corals are easy to damage if the expedition is careless. Steps must be taken to preserve the fragile formations. We can do some artwork, get some arts XP. We can take some specimens, both of these lowering success chance, or uh, navigate carefully, they're probably dangerous. We're afraid of the reef. Give us more success chance in the long term. Uh, Lu Yang has almost no enemies around. If I just send my Dragoon out, my Curse rather, as a bonus to warfare against ranged. The Grenadier's bonus to warfare against line. So the Grenadier will definitely win this one. Go grenades, go! I sent my uh, Cursors also. Ha! <laughs> just need the grenades. <laughs> All right, I can now begin to remake things here. Um, culture gives me a... No, something has a rebuild ruined town. Awesome. Awesome. Now, there are other ruined towns or outposts. There was an outpost here previously. I'd like to get that one up again soon. For that, we need to have another one of the pioneers. I'll make that next. And then Wuhong is still where my pioneer is who wants to go down here. We can now begin repairing some stuff. Because I think the enemies would prefer to rush in and attack rather than to burn down my bakery again. Burn down a bakery? What kind of riders are you? Who does not like donuts? Um, we must have lost a town this way also. Yeah, Zheng is only one town, so more needed soon. Okay, lots of guarding, lots of guarding. This ship will head on to defeat more barbarians, hopefully. Changchun needs housing. 
Did the house catch on fire? Well, yes, it did. And Chun is now okay again on housing. Rome has a lot of stuff burned down. They're being attacked even more. Won't do more repairing in this direction. Out here, nothing seems to be on fire, I think. So you guard up again. Capital tax! One more capital tax round. Hey, a kill. Nice. What's the difference on unit selection, army selection buttons between the arrow and the metal? Yeah, so the arrow takes an old unit, and they push the green arrow and becomes the newer kind of unit. So it's basic city guards to the guard reserve. Um, the metal instead shows uh, a character becoming a leader instead. But thanks for asking. Always happy to express my knowledge of this game. I believe that nothing was lost. We have a fleet to aid us if need be. So we survived against one revolution, I think. I see no rebels, so time for the pioneer to move out once more. Will I regret that? Maybe. Zheng Zhao um, has fewer guards, but unrest is still going down. Giving it more guards would probably be a good idea. Abdera has two guards, both of the current tier. They could have a gold mine here. I don't know why they don't have one. Okay, I believe I was working on Abdera's paper production. Do they just have gold now? They just have gold now, so a jeweler here will help with luxury long term. Good. And then for paper making here, we have two paper. Paper can be consumed by the printing press to get more knowledge. Okay, that's one full line completed. There is not space for another wood chopper right now. Once we expand this way, we'll get some more, but slow going on that. Hey, commanders! Hey, commanders! Force march is cheaper. And then, and then, what's this? We must have 30 combat XP to unlock this thing. Wait, why 30? It says just one. It's, oh, you, this is, you get the one social fabric. Huh, strange though. Cost 30 by saying it only cost one. I'm not sure how to read that. Anyway, next turn we can get that knocked out. Uh, with Gion fully protected, we now have a hot air balloon and an old grenadier. Good. Making more armies to march north. We know the Germans have so many. Uh, you continue your move. We'll get to that city soon enough. I'm in march outside of Seiza to deal with this small group here. Good. I have a field marshal here, don't I? Yeah, we got a field marshal in this group uh, that we just used. Got to smooth them eventually. Okay, over here we have a very small army. I'm going to have that combined with the army at Jian. In a few turns. We want to put cannon in that group also, I believe. Wuhan Regard. More exploration! Shark! An enormous shark threatens the diving team as they attempt to map the edges of the Great Reef. The expedition needs a bigger boat. Ho 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 ho. So we can capture the shark for 50 wealth at a cost of Seth's chance down. We can use the underwater flares to scare it away. Or bear a brawl bear fisted with a shark. 7% chance of getting a positive outcome. We punch the shark! We'll see how it goes next turn. Uh, friends, another ad break is upon us now. It's been another hour of play, 12.04 now, my time. So we'll pause our game real quick, do some more crossword, and then get back to this one in just three minutes. Oh, pretty having a good one. Very pleased to have punched the shark. Best way to deal with these things. Uh, we've done the cross, let's do the down now. Honors in a way. So honors can be both a verb as well as a noun. Um, Though with Maul and Hole, I have no idea. Uh, survival aid on Survivor, sometimes. 
There's like some kind of immunity idol. I know it helps you to uh, to not be able to be voted out. Um, pass that I have no idea. Uh, weed, for instance, uh, it's a it's a downer. It's a uh, medical use. Uh, to weed is to to hoe. To weed is to dig in the dirt. Thinking Maul may be wrong. We'll see. A uh, diamond cutting record since the 60s. Oh, Neil Diamond. Neil Diamond. I thought of the many kinds of diamonds except for Neil Diamond himself. Nice. Uh, is Neil an A or an I? It's an I, certainly. This Piedmont digs on and off. Maybe. Pied? Peed? Hmm, no idea. A uh, misled. A uh, con. Misled. Hmm. Uh, debriefs. <laughs> Undresses. Uh, debriefs. So it doesn't mean just getting information from someone. No idea. A uh, mechanically copy. The Xerox does not fit. Mechanically copy. Uh, it could be to produce something by rote. Mechanically copy. You die, unsure. Uh, go out at night. Go out at night. So to turn off is kind of go out uh, to sleep. There we go. Um, seriously out of order. Continue to doubt Maul. So if Maul is not there, we have only the W. Seriously out of order. Yeah, it's not sure. Uh, corn husk contents maybe. Uh, is it gonna be masa? Yeah, so masa flour. This corn flour, I believe. A holiday purchase that's often a ripoff. Collectibles. Um, so thinking about like ripoff, like some kind of like band aid, like it's torn apart maybe. Um, but for holidays, so I shouldn't assume just Christmas. What are all other holidays we know? I mean, Kwanzaa, I don't know about traditional gifts for that. Hanukkah, the gifts I know of, I would not say are ripoffs. <laughs> Um, Valentine's Day. Oh, Advent calendars. Advent calendars, you pull things open, like little doors. That's not going to fit here. I mean, I think calendar might fit. That means the two things are wrong. I'm not sure about that. We'll see, though. A term of endearment. I mean, honey. Honey's a term of endearment. We'll see if that's right. What's LO here? Don't blow it. Don't blow love. <laughs> Don't blow lore. No clue. Uh, wedding arrangement pros. How about florists? Good. Uh, delight. Um, so delight's a verb and a noun both again. Um, I want to say joy. I want to say the word elan might mean delight. I'm not sure about that. It might mean spirit generally. Delight. Make happy. Muse. Mm -hmm. uh, subject of the bygone plum pudding model. That's an atom. It was Rutherford's model of the atom. Uh, lines in a story. Um, so tears are a kind of story. On a cake, for instance. Uh, lines in a story could be uh, you know, like actual words on a page, like a sentence or a collection of lines with a stanza. Um, lines and story. I think other kinds of stories. Buildings, of course. Yeah, I'm not sure. Let's go ahead and do two more then back to our game. Uh, don't leave wanting. Uh, give them what they want. Be sated. Unsure which. Uh, puts a stop to. Halts, possibly. What's it cross, though? Highly irregular. Um, unsure. Hey, Armor, how you doing? Thanks for stopping in. We're having a good time. Thank you all for stopping in today. It could be many, many places on the internet, but you chose twitch.tv slash resorty. I hope you're glad that you made the choice you did. I'm certainly glad you made the choice you did. Right, in a moment here, we're going to have to discover which armies can move. Which armies need to stay in defense, because I very quickly threw everyone into defensive positions, being somewhat unsure. Uh, Gian is now in good shape, so I'm going to use my improvement points to repair anything that's broken. How's the Millennia campaign? Uh, we defeated the 
Zulus entirely. Uh, we are strongest except for Japan right now. It's going pretty well, honestly. Pretty, pretty, pretty well. Uh, education is down in the capital. Is my school on fire? <laughs> I don't recall where the school is. <laughs> who makes education points? Yeah, with this thing we can see who makes education points. A is the school. A is the printing press. Uh, if I go to Zhan's economy page, can we see what's on fire? There is a public school. No one's working there. We don't need people working in the poorhouse. More important than having a school teacher. And that fixes education for now. What we're missing, though, is flour, wood, wood, paper. Is that because things are on fire? Are you on fire? You're not. Nor are you. Apparently we need more wood. I guess I'll go ahead and make another tree chopper in the forest here. And that'll potentially fix something. Where is it? Wood. Sawmill? No, sawmill takes logs. Logging camp, there we go. Uh, that should fix at least some of the wood problems. We need a mill also, because we have wheat that'll be turned into flour then. Is the game like Civ? Yes. But if you do exclamation point Civ, you'll learn about the other ways in which it differs, because it differs in pretty important ways. Are these real world civs or countries in the game? I don't know what you mean, honestly. If you explain the question a bit more, I'd be happy to explain it or respond to it. Uh, the fishing fleet destroyed, we fix that. This ship heads out again to find more places to fish. Army of Rome, post up again. Can you pick Greece? Absolutely. Yep, you can pick Greece if you want to. Um, that said, they won't find anything special about Greek culture right now. Playing as Greece is just a matter of the name you see on the screen, as opposed to anything about how the culture actually works, for right now at least. Abdera is in great shape. Needs more sanitation. We'll look at that in one second. Abdera. I don't think of Abdera as like a magic spell. Abdera to Abdera. Printing press, press fixed. They seem not to have a midden right now. That'll be what they need. Trash heap. Good. Good. Uh, did I move my pioneer yet this turn? He's at Xi'an. Don't care about the fight. There he is. He moves forward one more step. Getting closer where it needs to be. Closer and closer. Unfortunately, Laza does not need that army there. They need city guards instead. So, next turn. Move the army of Fortaleza. Sweden is again at war with Egypt. They want me to come help them. You're very far away, you understand. I'll try, though. So, hello. You know there's a difference between one civ to the next? You're exactly right. It's just difference in flags and difference in uh, names that are spawned on new city creation. Who is this? Rebels in the south? What? 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 Okay, as right now, there's no substantial changes in uh, like character types or the ways the game starts or anything based on what culture you begin with. I suspect that will change. I hope it does not take a DLC for it to change. I hope you get a free update on that. And then maybe, like, different outfits for characters via DLC. But it's Paradox-supported game, so who knows, who knows. Alright, so... This army... moved to Seiza before. It's my army the Field General. So I'm gonna have them head over to support the invasion of Egypt. I'd be totally fine with ending this game being friendly with Sweden and uh, Sweden and Japan. 
and destroy the Germans. Okay, we know that this Grenadier stack to join this group here. The next turn, they're ready to head out again. Good. The boats continue on their way. Pioneer can move. Two more turns, we get to make that city again. <laughs> Uh, all right, I believe this is the last phase of our expedition. 100% guaranteed, which means we did fight off the shark by punching it in the snout. The Great Barrier Reef still holds secrets, but the expedition has made progress in mapping the edges. So resolve the expedition, get culture, get arts, and we now know about the Great Barrier Reef. Hooray, hooray. Uh, art's totally full, so we go ahead and have our community points. Now unrest is lower because people are amused by the artwork, artwork we can draw. That's good. Diplomacy is still charging along. We're very close to New Pioneer. Only a few more turns there. So are there burned down cities I can bring back? So I believe to the north here there's a city there is. It's a ruined town. Oh, here's the town. There we go. And when we expand back out, we can grab those again. All right. I really don't want to look around and find everything was destroyed, but I'll try for a little bit. Yeah, I believe in the south near Rome, some things were destroyed. Nothing there. Okay, Kai Fang, that's on fire. We're out of improvement points right now, so next turn we'll have to do more. We're also gaining so very many um, specials each turn. We can make a coffee house to use them. And the coffee house is 23 specialists. It lowers unrest and makes tier coffee to analytics. Uh, we know we have tea. Yeah, tea there. So I'm going to give a coffee house to Fortaleza, helping it to gain analytics points which are two knowledge each we're speeding up on the knowledge all right this boat it's gonna destroy it it's doing really nothing this boat is going to protect the fleet here as they move across to egypt so i'll bring it south to help with that news from abroad sweden egypt at war i'm helping too don't worry uh, Kai Fang looks fine. Needs some houses, though. Check that out. Oh, Kai Fang. Things are on fire. Can't repair them. Houses are on fire. So next turn, repair the house at Kai Fang first. So last turn was move the army of Fortaleza. This turn, it's repair Kai Fang's broken house. Rome just threw up a blue flag. I do not know what that means. Absolutely no clue. Revolutionary China wants neutrality. Absolutely not. You dared to break off from me. Now you will be truly broken in half, a la Bane. It's coming for you, I guarantee it. This one's just poking around to find more stuff. Hello, barbarians. Do you have a house here? Are you hiding things from me? They have olives. Because we're colonizing for more olives. So, so far on the uh, various islands, we found nothing we can't find back at home. I don't think there are unique resources on any of the continents. Things all just the same right now. I wonder if that will change eventually. Okay, this is force, which is full of old guards and so on. Um, I guess I can devote to the war in Egypt. The only issue is they're not the super strongest group. Kai Fang, Kai Fang, Kai Fang. Repair houses. Yes. That fixes their housing need. Repair the trash heap also. Lots of the fire, actually. Not the pyramid, though. I actually wonder if pyramids are burnable. I gotta believe they're not. I can claim a trickery if I want to. 
or look for iron. I think more church or someone would definitely help. And our farm is on fire. Got to fix that one later. Um, so at my capital, more broken things. So next turn, Lu Yang. Uh, at the capital, I'd have a coffee shop, I believe, to help with more learning. But I'm trying to find out who I should send with this army. Just a bunch of guards right now. Uh, get you into boats. It'll be a secondary support unit with a weather balloon to watch after them. How many more turns until we land? We're very close to landing at a Durban there. We just don't want to fight turn one. Okay. The Prospector Pioneer arrives once more. It's finally going to happen. We're going <laughs> to use our culture points to take over that tile. Uh, this big army I'm also committing to the Egyptian front. Once they're big old veterans, we'll be sending them to the, uh, the German front instead. Uh, Explorer's done here. So Explorer can now become a, a leader. Wait, combat XP is greater than 30. Wait, wait, wait. What do you want from me? The social fabrics from Commander's Legacy. I want that. The Commander needs more than 24 combat XP. Is that my Field Marshal? I think that means we want the Field Marshal to fight more. So it's not based on having uh, Warfare XP, which we do have. Uh, the Field Marshal currently has 24 unit XP. Do you keep your Field Marshal alive? I didn't realize that was essential. That you can't finish the Commander line. If the field marshal dies. Cool. So more battles for him very soon. Explorer, I'm gonna go ahead and level up to a level five leader, Conquistador. And we'll have him go reinforce one of the armies somewhere. Alright, this group, I'm not gonna commit to Egypt. Instead, I'm gonna go support the north here in preparation for German fun. Lu Yang needs things repaired. That was this turn's desire for the world. No, it's next turns. <laughs> next turn instead. <laughs> All right, Zheng Zhao in the north. Very slow to make anything, so we'll just go ahead and give it treasury, room. Can you give you more upgrades? Lu Yang, next turn you get nice things for now. Shopping center, Fortaleza, you need a population increase. I don't think any of those do this. So maybe Emperor's Palace? No. So I think we're going to stay at this population size until we get a town. We need a town there to help it grow. I've used the culture point on integrating the outpost. Capital attack! If I'm more uh, revolutionaries. I wonder how many turns until we join the uh, Age Revolution and see what awful things occur. Uh, Nance is held. Good. I want this explorer to join into. The recently launched fleet here. The barbarians, I believe, will be able to kill my explorer. Almost certainly. So I'm going to land him here instead. Okay. Things are burned down here. We've not brought them to the fold yet. Army here doing nothing. This is the one you send the field marshal to war. And I don't think battling on the seas counts for that. That may not be true. Okay, I want this group to pick up the explorer. I'm not quite sure how to do that right now. Okay, you continue to keep clear barbarians. So earlier we were talking about landing 
in Egypt right here. They still have no walls apparently, so this is the place to land. Uh, probably land initially on the mining pit, as that will give us the defense via hills. And then once we drop the disembarkation penalty, we can then roll into their territory there. Alright, we're nearly at Durban. I wish I knew who all was inside these ships. Can I see? Old Guard Cavalry, Kurisar, Cannon, Kurisar, Old Guard Cavalry. So no leader. But I think we still win this without too much trouble. I wish I had some cannon. The Pioneer creates. We now rush culture. We now make sure we're Xion, we are. Culture, observe outpost. Look, look, Wuhan exists again. From the rubble, Wuhan is here. We're able to build a proper cash crop plantation for beloved Xion. I've been trying to do this for such a long time. It's finally done. <laughs> Um, so, we can make this place kind of farmy if we want to. Uh, we have lots and lots of food already for our capital. About as much as we can support. Um, on housing, we're still totally fine also. So it might be sensible to create gold here. Or iron. So iron would help us get more uh, weapons or tools. Uh, or machines. Machines give innovation. Or engineering, rather. We do need another school also. So Jean has all of the education buildings they can possibly build. We may need another school. The coffee house gives knowledge also, but they need tea or coffee. Someone else has tea and coffee. So Fortaleza has the coffee shop already, I believe. Is that true? Fortaleza is making from tea coffee to this. Now there's coffee somewhere else. Things are on fire. Fix that, please. Okay, where was it? It was a very early city I took, and I took it explicitly because it had coffee. Well, this place has two coffee plants. So how much does it get Quasduka to join us? Um, so it's still four more turns on that. Unless I want to send an envoy down. I thought we had really early coffee somewhere. But I'm not seeing it, so perhaps not. We'll find it eventually. And when we do, oh, when we do. I know I was rushing for coals, I recall that, but no idea. Okay, Luong's guards post up again. The Army of Fortaleza. Yes, you are moving to the front. And Gian, our capital. Very quick upgrades for all of these. And like we said, at Gian, we need more education. So the area we just took over was Gian. I'm going to build at least one school. Can't do that right now. Can't build a coffee house, but I think with no tier of coffee, it's a mistake to do so. That's tobacco there. Hmm, I wonder if I did a way to look at my entire nation's um, economy and figure out where the coffee or tea are. Oh! The very early coffee... <laughs> the very early coffee is the place that we've been trying to make an outpost in forever. That's why we made it there. So now, surprise, surprise, we put a coffee house in Xi'an. Hooray! All right, so Xi'an is now making a little more education. They also need a public school. There we go. Hooray! Xi'an is fixed entirely. It's gonna need more education or trash heap too. That'll come eventually. All right, here come boats going to Egypt. Um, you tiny little transport are trying to get your explorer to the northern fleet. You're gonna hide behind this group moving. You all are also following to Egypt. 
such a way to go, my goodness. On the way back home, we'll probably stop and fight barbarians also. All right. So, hello, Durban. Oh, we haven't declared war, so I can't go in yet. Sorry. Where are you? Hello, Revolution China. We now declare war. So now we can go to their territory, yes? Good. Now, if we attack into the city, we actually win despite the offloading detriment. <gasps> you can shoot from the sea with an ordinary ship? I thought only bomb ships could do that. Are you a bomb ship? You are. Oh, I love how it goes out to the sea there. Uh, we definitely need more bomb ships for this kind of thing. Because that's all kinds of fantastic. It doesn't get a penalty for uh, for disembarking. Because it can't disembark. Cool. Revolutionary China now has no territory. We brought it back within us again. Eliminated once more. We have a small group of revolutionaries there now that will be fighting off presently. Going to be fine. All right, Haifei. Don't know why you left your guard mode. Continue to Germany. So this boat is not a bomb ship, so it can't bombard. Instead, we want to have them support the Egyptian incursion. I'm going to go this way to see if Egypt has a fleet at all on this side. Look like no. They do have some fishing ships, not much else. I mean, spawn new pioneer. Why did I want to spawn a pioneer? It was to get an outpost for something. Luyang has tea also. So if we could get a coffee shop for Luyang, I'd be very pleased, but it's gonna be a while to we expand, unfortunately. Yeah, our influence there is only 4.32 for expansion, so slow going. We could expand, expand just to get more towns. I was relatively sure there was some resource I wanted or something. I have no idea what it was, though. <laughs> I gotta start keeping notes for myself, unfortunately. Delphi is a vassal, so they repair themselves still. Athens the same. Okay. I'll have to click through everything and see. It wasn't Kaifeng. It wasn't Luyang. Yeah, it wasn't Fortaleza. There is open spot here we could use for something, I suppose. It almost certainly was not Jian, because this is so jammed in here. Changchun? Probably not. There are things to repair, though. Can't afford that. I'm probably going to say never mind, I'm guessing. I need to repair things. For that, we can move Jian to full production for a turn. Yeah, I've got no idea. I had beautiful ideas once upon a time, and now I just don't. <laughs> so, uh, news from abroad. Japan and Revolutionary China are not war. They joined in because we declared war. So too are Sweden. Thank you all. Thank you all for coming to help me. I love you so much. All right, so mid to late game, or the mid-ish part of the game we're in right now, it feels like unless we build up a lot of education to research more quickly, it's just kind of slow going. Because research slows down quite a bit. That said, organization points. Our social fabric builds more. Two more turns of the Age Revolution. I guess at a certain point I start thinking, like, why are we building? You know, why are we doing what we're doing right now? I don't have a great answer on that, other than it's just what we do. I transport ships versus a canoe. I suspect we'll be fine. Can transport ships not attack? <gasps> because they have a combat number, I assume they could fight back. This man in a canoe might kill us all. <laughs> 
So I have a, my combat ship so far away right now. Um, well, uh, running from a mana canoe feels very, very silly, but it might be necessary. Whichever way, we can run away and try to run to the fleet that protects us. Uh, this ship is the one nearest to that group right now, I believe. I'm not sure, though. I'm trying to remember the, the mid to late game Civ. If things get a little bit grindy also, or if things stay a little bit uh, more lively, perhaps. Uh, you go try to save the uh, the Field Marshal. If the Field Marshal dies, it be the absolute end of the world. Hello, Sweden! We're friends! Good to see you. Hi. Right. Getting closer. Getting closer, getting closer, getting closer. If we charge out to fight the army in the hills, we'll probably draw. Because they have, you know, hills. Um, I think we'll just stay here for now and see if they eventually attack our, our city that way. Egypt and Sweden have gotten out of the war. Does that kick me out of the war also? It does not. So if we want to, we can attack Egypt still ourselves. I have sent my troops so unbelievably far. <laughs> Alright, Kaifeng is the location of the Western Fleet. I'm going to begin making some ships for the Western Fleet. I just want to take one city. If I can get one city from, uh, from the Egyptians, I'm going to call it a good fight. Now again, they are so much stronger than we are, so... Not sure we can actually pull this thing off, but let's see. Uh, Changchun needs education, so we'll give him a museum for that. Spawn a pioneer, he says. I don't recall why I wanted to do that, so never mind. We'll then remove the uh, reminder. Now, are there more ruined towns to rebuild? I do wish the game were a little bit clearer about where the ruined towns are, if you have one. Because I know we had other towns that were destroyed during the revolution, but where they are, I just don't know. I'm sure they'll be added at some point to the game. Um, well, we can just claim territory. I know how that works. So, Jean, I'm going to have you grab another forest. And what do we use that for, then? Well, if we cut down trees, it would help. And is there a farm that's on fire? No. No, there's not. Or at least not that I'm seeing. Uh, they want more wood, they get more wood. Logging camp, who it's called. The logging camp. Those of you who play this game, do you have this experience also where every time you open the screen you can't find what you're looking for? <laughs> or do you know how to remember things? We can't build it here. Why not? It's a swamp. This is not a forest, it's a swamp instead. May I clear cut the swamp? Is that a thing? It is a thing. So we can't put logging there. What else are we producing extra of right now? Uh, additional ingots and additional raw ore. So. We're going to make that raw ore into at least iron for now. There's still so much more fish here if I expand. Another guy you play... Oh yeah, you click on the tile. That's just the improvements. Thank you. I always forget about that. You can just click on the tile. That will show you what you're... what you're able to build there. Very smart. A fire's burning the Abdura. Send my money into making it water. The dystopia age crisis grows stronger. I collect chaos. I'm not able to get to the dystopia age. It's so strange that I'm currently focusing on making revolution. And dystopia comes after that. 
So at least we are aiming towards dystopia. <laughs> and I don't want that. So any crisis events during the Age of Revolution becomes dystopic. So it's probably a suggestion we should not be fighting at this period. Uh, this ship carrying my new leader needs to rush along. Hello, Sweden. Hello, more Sweden. Good seeing you all. This ship, which is defensive, will rush down here now. And being every crisis period, uh, not all of them, but at least some of them, yes. So transport ships, you can almost land at Egypt. Next turn we land, we attack. And then we try to peace out. If Egypt doesn't let me peace out, we got some problems. You post up again. Oh, I upgraded someone. I meant to guard instead. Well, we have a nice uh, level six leader now. Our own field marshal, that's fine. Next turn you get into the city. Okay. You, man of war, go protect, please. You bomb ship are trying to come attack also. Capital attacks, Durban sees someone. Nice. Reminder, tolerance. Hey, less unrest again. Yeah, we've not been forced into any of the crisis periods except for the Age of Plague. So though we are causing the positive crisis, as long as we don't lead the uh, lead the pack, we're fine. The Age of Revolutions upon us. Number one, there be power and oil. Number two, the Air Force. Number three, if unrest grows too rapidly, revolutionaries will rise. Uh, air units are unlocked through research in this age. Air units can only be based at locations. They're not grouped with land units. If air and land units are in the same tile, reselecting will cycle between the various uh, land units, air units, and tile. Air fighters automatically engage any enemy air units that enter the intercept range. Air bombers, we can attack enemy armies or navies in the range. Air units spend a full turn to be rebased at any location for air units, regardless of how far away. Also, we now need power. The power need is determined entirely by what you build. Most buildings from this age forward require some power. Goods like petroleum or coal, we have coal. Um, goods like petroleum and coal and improvements like the power station we use to meet power needs. If a region has insufficient power, it may suffer from a brownout or a rolling back, a blackout, which reduces productivity of the region in general. Okay. Okay. So the places where I have coal, Rome is one? No, it's not. <laughs> Somewhere was one. We'll see. Is Arts Tab reduce unrest? Maybe. Maybe. Yeah, there is a reduce unrest button if we need to. But as of right now, unrest is pretty low everywhere because we have the police out in force. Hopefully that continues. Uh, Kai Feng has coal. So do we have like a power plant now or something? The oil well. <laughs> uh, can I put anything on top of the... We already have coal being grabbed from that. Maybe it needs to be researched. We'll see. Okay, welcome to the Age Revolution. So we've already gotten two Age of Dystopias, but in fact, I didn't really want to. The Age of Generals comes if you have 150% greater power score than anyone else. We're nowhere near that. Age of Utopia, more innovations, or the Age of Rocketry is the automatic one that comes next. All right, what gives me additional power? Does industry do it? Assembly line, paper factory, textile factory, Powered saw improvement. Steam trawler, more power drain. Or lastly, the cigar factory. <laughs> uh, urbanization is sewers, that's awesome, in the grocery store. And town level up again. 
Applied Science gives the power station. Uh, I feel like power may be important. But what isn't important? Let's get power first. And try to avoid crises. It is going up very slowly. Do you wonder from what? 2 chaos events done. Go away, please. Thank you. Uh, John, for one turn... What's power grid? This is new. Um, creates six power, kicks region level up again. Awesome. Uh, for now, though, I want to levy for one turn so we're able to go through and fix everything that's broken because there's still a lot that's broken, unfortunately, after the revolutionary launch recently. I think there is. Still, I'm not seeing anything ruined. I'm sure we'll find more soon enough. Oh, maybe. <gasps> Oil! Uh, this is new. Oil tiles. You consume them for two power. So, if we have enough exploration, we can then claim this tile and get some oil as well. Now, I do wonder if there's oil buried underneath some of my buildings. I suspect there is. But where it is, I have no idea whatsoever. I'm suddenly not seeing anything on fire. There must be something somewhere. Uh, you finish your move to here. Hey, we have some petroleum. So, do we collect it even if we don't have... It's in a vast territory. I wonder if we collect it automatically or if we need to make a... Um, oil derrick, possibly. But I think it's the case that if it's inside my territory, I don't get to see it unless the tile's open. We could try to head here, which is multiple turns away. Hey, thing's on fire. All right. Finally found something on fire, thank goodness. These. Also this. Good. I think that's all here. Fine. Um, there's gold here. It's not been taken recently. The core needs help also. All right. So... Um, there's still a group here. I'm just gonna rush out and defeat them. The Red Army is no more. Return to the only true Red Army that is, uh, the Chinese flag. Okay, I know that I have, yes, Man of Wars here to go deal with Barbarians, finally. There might be another place on fire in the Changchun province, thank you. I'll check that out. Okay, go here, and then here. <laughs> I can't find the uh, ship AI is not super great for where it's supposed to go. They try to cut through the spot repeatedly. For now, though, to the north, all of you. Hello, Egypt. So we're at war with Egypt. So this is a deep water transport also. It's moving some troops around. Speaking of which, it is time for us to land. On top of a hill. We can't move this turn. Next turn, I wonder if we can take them entirely. Oh, do they have a trebuchet? They have a catapult. How adorable. <laughs> Maybe they never invented can uh, cannon. They only have the... Uh, only have the trebuchet still. Uh, another good victory there. The ship goes onward, onward. This one's coming to defend the east coast as well. So now we know where a lot of the barbarian ships are coming from, I believe, from the islands in the channel between us. Okay. Um, I don't want to leave this group here. Um, I don't exactly want to cut through the western channel until Kai Feng gives me some troops. How long do you have ships, Kai Feng? It's got to be soon, right? You are making the first man of war right now. They'll then begin cleaning the west side of the map here. So Durban, 
think we're just going to send you marching this way for now. Also, Bagnet is a giant army. is not doing anything. Let's go and commit it up to... Uh, yeah, up to Germany. You all guard here for now. The boats again. So there is one bandit boat. The Sweden has a bunch of armies on our coast right now. I think we're still allies. So I hope they're cool. <laughs> hope this is not some shenanigans on behalf of the Swedes. Now, the awkward thing about fighting the Egyptians, they're so far away that there's a real possibility that they managed to defeat us. Or we can't get more troops here in time. I right, guaranteed win on this town. So a vassal across the sea is now happening. Hooray. Do we dare stay longer? Uh, if we attack here, we'll draw because we're getting the penalty to... Yeah, getting the penalty to disembarkation. Alright, will Egypt peace out now? We're still weaker than them. That said, they did peace out on Sweden earlier, and Sweden's even weaker than we are. So... Let's find out. If not, I may have to deploy more and more troops across the way. We'll see what we've done. Find another barbarian boat there. And let's check the uh, earlier mentioned Chang Chun. I have a fire somewhere. There it is. Thank you. Good eye. Our school's on fire. Hey, teacher, leave them kids alone. Capital attack. I forgot. When you take somewhere over, you can immediately fire with them. And now, oh, if we would have fired first and then land on them, we probably would have won. But for now, we'll see if Egypt accepts our offer of peace, our generous and kind offer of peace. Rejected. And then Egypt offers peace. <laughs> it's always so strange. Uh, our first uh, ship in the Western fleet now exists. And we're at peace with Egypt. So we do have a tiny little treaty port, we'll call it, uh, with the Egyptians. And my goal is to make it into an actual city soon. I'd like to control this very much. Um, I kind of sort of think I should move my... Hello. Liverpool. <laughs> Bizarre. Uh, I kind of sort of think I should move my... Um, what's it called? Um, my armies back home to invade Germany. But I also kind of sort of recognize that we need to hold this territory in case Egypt comes fighting again. That said, Egypt has a proper metropolis here. Wow. We have no such thing, I believe. All right. I don't recall what we get on culture. We'll look at that in a moment. Warfare is finished. Oh, no. Oh, no. My field marshal needs experience points still. All right. Field marshal needs to go fight some barbarians now. Not the field marshal. Not the field marshal. He's still in ships then. Where is he? Okay, I don't know where you're coming from, what you're doing. Have you moved north? Okay, I believe this is the field marshal ship. So where are barbarians? There's some right here. Field Marshal. Uh, this is the Field Marshal ship. Fantastic. And this one, Explorer, is meant to be a leader for a group that landed already. We have their next turn. Cat. Hello to you, Further Army. Just still at north. So, how does our strength compare against the Germans? 
we're just slightly stronger. Yeah, Germany's been left largely alone for the past two or three wars we fought. So they've been able to build up in a big way while I've kind of just like been throwing my troops around repeatedly. Uh, we're at peace with Egypt, so this is just a scouter right now. And in a moment, we'll bring troops across to fight that, probably. Okay, we haven't gone to the far south here. Use my, bomb my bombarding ship to go look at this and that. Here they are. What do you find? Hey, it looks like there's a uh, southern continent. I wonder if we can go explore the Antarctic Ridge. Antarctic Shelf, what it's called. I wonder, I wonder. Uh, Lu Yang, looking okay for right now. Let's keep on rest down by having more and more police departments. You just stay there then. Rome. More sanitation, kind of needed. None available. <laughs> so we get the public library for more education as they get very close to that size. And then next turn we should be able to have our field marshal land, I believe. Germans in Athens? Stealing money from my Athenians? 1825 is upon us. Probably rush culture. I'm gonna hit that one thinking about it. Army of Kaifeng. Continue on. And I kinda wanna hit all my cities and see if any of them are having unrest problems. Changchun has reached its population level again. Hey, Changchun's a proper city now. Xi'an also. Hey. So I guess once you come to the Age of Revolution, your cities become proper cities now. Or is it partially based on population, I wonder? Nope, okay, things at 19. Lu Yang's at 16. It looks like all the cities change something new as this era arrives for us. Uh, Zhengzhou is not at population cap yet. So whatever you want to make is just fine. We need towns. The so culture, create towns for more building. Changchun, do you have space for a town somewhere? Most certainly not. <laughs> so do you need all the things you have right now? Uh, you have excess cloth. So we can destroy one of these grassland plantations and then build a town on top of it. Wait, but putting a town immediately adjacent to our capital of the region makes no sense at all. What am I trying to do here? They don't have a lot of food. Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. They have a ton of education, not great sanitation. I built the town towards the eastern settlement. Oh yeah, I forgot you could build just next to it. That's very sm uh, smart, Fluffy. Thank you for knowing how to play the game. <laughs> you can build just outside your territory. Hooray! Hooray! All right. And then exploration. We're getting close to claiming territory. I'll probably go ahead and claim the uh, the oil there eventually. All right. What does the Navy find to the Western Sea? A whole bunch of barbarians. I don't think there's any other empire over here. This is an empire we've never heard of. Right now, tremendous barbarian blockade. I bet we're the first people to ever go this way. Good stuff. All right, field marshal ship. We land, we're fine, correct? Yeah. I don't know if the field marshal actually needs to do damage here to uh, level up. There's our victory. All right, field marshal's now at. 26 of 30. I think he was at 23 last time. So four more XP needed. I believe in you. This army heads for Germany. You all post up for now. We want our, where is he? Leader to join this group. Excellent. Full stack. Um, you all were also heading south to see what you can find. I wonder if I said an explorer here. 
if we go to the South Pole is or something. I have one spare explorer hanging out in some city on the east, I believe. I may have leveled him up, actually. There he is. Our explorer. I'm going to send you to the South Pole. Let's discover what we discover. Let's head west with this group. Ah. Yeah, there's a little more we haven't seen yet over that way. Ah, we got the oil. Got the oil, got the oil. Oh, look at that. The Egyptians are clearing out this place now. So glad we have one barbarian island for uh, the field marshal level up on. Okay, a little battle here in the wilderness. It worked out okay. Go ahead and just fight our way through the stronger one. We can want to attack in, we'll win that. The heck of a barbarian navy there. Okay, you head north also. Field Marshal, yes. He's at 26 right now. And then that 28. Uh, I think one more battle should do it. And then we can finish our commander line. It'd be amazing. Um, we have 300 improvement points. I forgot I put Gian on constant improvement. <laughs> so I want to push out additional armies. Uh, for now, though, it needs education again also. Uh, Gian, do you have space for another education building? You do... maybe. You do, over in Wuhan. What's this? What's this? Rare Earth Metals. I have not seen it before. Cell phones come in very, very soon. I must have scrolled past this over and over again. And then here we need one more school. Uh, education gets handled. Sanitation problems, though. Oh, this beautiful green spot here. I'll have to make it into a midden, probably. Or trash heap. How do we invent incinerators? I think that's the real question here. Incinerators would solve all the problems. Just burn the trash. Okay, so the oil well goes on the petroleum. We'll add that in a moment. And now we have mansions. Mansions require power, but they have 25 housing. So much more than the houses do. Let's figure out power first, but that's me good. All right, another trash heap. Now I know over in the east, we got that oil, so on that we're going to put the oil well, our very first one. So now there's power in Changchun. It's not listed here at all. Mm. Where is it? Oil well. It has workers, and it is petroleum here. So now we need some kind of power plant to burn it, probably. Good. Good, good. Explorer guy heading to the South Pole. Let's go, let's go. Continue doing a bit of reconnaissance. I fully expect someone's going to freeze to death, and I send multiple explorers one after another. Uh, Abdera, you need another university, please, for my education. Barbarian fleets. Hammer in. Germany wants open borders. Absolutely not. Look, you trying to normalize relationships. There's one thing I'll not tolerate. It's friendship with Germany. <laughs> Alright, so our fleet's getting some serious damage, actually. I'm going to pull back to the dock. And Kai Feng will have another ship in one turn. So we'll head in again then. Uh, friends, it is the case. It is right now my 1 o'clock. We have time for one more ad break, I guess. I'll play for a little while longer. Probably about one thirty or so of my time today. So, Field Marshal, when the ad break is over, get him leveled up to 
30 XP, I think, and that would be a glorious thing. For now, though, thanks for being here. Check out one more round of crossword and see what I can figure out. A start of the last century. Start of the last century. Um, so the words last century start with an L and a C. Um, there was like Y2K. Um, I have no idea. I have no idea. Uh, could be some other kind of century other than years, but what I'm not sure. A uh, hold back. Um, have a bastion. Be timid. Be demure. A low end accessory. Low end accessory. Um, so like, what's it called? Like base amps. I think are lower end and they're an accessory for your sound system. Um, kind of rims, like a low rider, unsure. Uh, tethering rope, uh, possibly a lasso. I think it's only one O. Lasso, I think. Uh, tethering rope. So, I feel okay about Lisa right now, though Homer's child could also be Bart. Um, now that said, child of Homer could also mean a child inside of a Homeric opera. And there's, is it Menelaus? Is that a child's name? No. Who's the child in, this is a rhetorical question, who's the child in the, uh, in the Odyssey when uh, Ulysses goes home? I think it's an M name also, but mythologist I am not. Huzzah! Huzzah! I'm happy. <laughs> uh, blank trial. Blank trial. Uh, so Una or could definitely be wrong. Um, to stand trial. So it's loss or... I think loss is most likely for Spanish Peron there. Uh, instrument with hammers. Um, so an organ has hammers, a piano has hammers. Organs do not. Um, like the xylophone, the marimba, that kind of thing, have hammers of a sort. I think piano is very likely here. We tend to think of keys, which do strike the piano. Um, wires. A style for a special occasion. We might use, uh, what's it called? Cu not cuneiform, <laughs> calligraphy for special occasion. Um, pass it, not sure. It's sedimentary, my dear. So it's a kind of rock. Um, Phil Knight is definitely correct. He's the founder of the Nike brand. So some kind of stone. But what I'm not sure. Um, dance related to San Cubano, the rumba, probably. A result of a good pitch. Um, so a sale, an ad pitch, uh, of lower rank, of lower rank, uh, lesser clearly. Um, rank can also mean a kind of smell. Hmm. It's been a minute error. I have no idea, no idea. Uh, my heart at blank sweet voice, a sanson aria. Her sweet voice, possibly? Not sure on that, we'll see. Okay, with that, we've done all the crosses and all the downs. As we head through again, I'm feeling like some of them might be solvable that were not previously. So needs some air, po uh, perhaps. Probably gasps. Need some air in that sense. Uh, digs on and off, maybe. So digs on and off calls me like an on and off relationship. Like, oh, I'm into her sometimes, but not other times. Uh, misled, though, is to get someone. Pie date. <laughs> so, <laughs> some kind of date seems plausible, but pie seems questionable at best. Mechanically copy. Um, uh, something is probably mistaken there. Uh, after restitution. Yeah, you paid back someone. I'm not sure. Anyway, a fine ad break. Our last one for today, for sure. Like I said, another half hour of gaming, probably maybe 20 minutes. We'll see, we'll see. A little longer than usual. It's about four and a half hours so far. Uh, it is time for the Field Marshal to do his march. So, just a little more XP, please. Cannon fire glorious. Cannon fire glorious. Shooting glorious. The Field Marshal did nothing. 
Natural deposits. So, these barbarians have settled atop a rich land of ore. Land rich with ore. Their settlement is the only thing in the way of gathering these deposits. So we can destroy them and get war for XP. That don't really need. Or train them for the value of the ore. Sure. I don't see the ore. What I do see, though, is our commander leveled up. The field marshal finished leveling up. We finished the legacy. We get a little bit more social fabric tenacity and we make one more War for XP per turn. So all of our ideologies now are completely leveled up for the moment. Okay, 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 okay. The Field Marshal then, he's actually not fully leveled up. Uh, we unlocked an additional level after that, but as far as he needs to be. We'll send him home to lead the German marches. Um... Uh, the game's being a chug a little bit. So if I have opened the where are things being produced, my computer can't quite handle that. <laughs> it's a little bit of a struggle. If I put them away, it is being to chug a little bit more moving around, but it's not as bad as I worried it would be. Uh, we almost have enough government points to incorporate another one of our vassals, I believe. It is 428! 428! I think my cap's at 300 right now. So no more vassalizations happening these days. <laughs> Um, I guess we're just going for organization. 428. Outrageous. Outrageous. Uh, heading towards claiming territory. On warfare, we're just saving for tenacity, I believe. Engineering. I'm sure I need something. Alright, who wants some improvements today? Who's feeling like they need needs met? So, Lu Yang needs space. In probably two turns, we can get space for it to build housing especially. Now, they don't have any power here. If they had power, we could build a mansion in place of its its houses here, I think. But just kind of struggling for want of land there. Got to find some way like the Dutch to make land out of the sea. That'd be great. My Fortaleza has a bunch of open space. That's not true. <laughs> it might eventually. Uh, for now, though... Is this clay mine actually needed? I think it probably is not. Yeah, we're not making a sculpture with it. We're just making blocks. So I can free up two spaces by getting rid of these. There's a stone mason here. Good. Two open slots. And a whole bunch of places for fishing also. Let's do the fishing one, thinking about it. Those are the only heavy fish locations. We could fish more. That's a good way to keep our uh, food supply fairly high. There they are. Cat. At 200, that was fine. They need a pyramid. Obviously, when we don't know what else to build, build the pyramid. It gives so many nice things. Behold, more tourist traps. <laughs> it gives more cultural points, I believe. All right, so we've roughly reached... No, we haven't. I was going to say we've roughly reached the German border, but this is just not true. The German border is still so far away. And we need more roads clear to help with this. So outposts might be a useful thing to make. It would help us with uh, building roads between here and there. So, Pioneer, we're going to have you go create a outpost in the middle of our desert there. Just to give me roads. Here he comes. I guess we can also set up a, an outpost around the um, petroleum. Don't know why I didn't think that earlier. Trade post plus outpost. So good. Cannot wait to see my explorer finds down here. But so far, Antarctica's all looking just pretty Antarctican. I am wondering where we can even land there. Let's see, we'll see. Uh, as the turn begins, I want to check out the German army we can see. And they have quite a bit more behind their borders. I want to see what kind of army constitution they're at right now. So Munich is unwalled, as is Philadelphia. Here's Essen. 
So, they still have long swords, amazingly. They have no cannon at all, but also no troops that are more contemporary than mine. There's a couple more up here also. They have cannon here and a plague doctor. Good, smart. <laughs> so I wonder if the AI doesn't know how to retire units because there's no reason to have a plague doctor unless we're going to get COVID later in the era. But I think the AI might just stick with its troops forever. Oh, there's a bunch of cannon. I'd be worried about that. And it's such a long border. So there's probably not an all at once war. Hey! Hey, we're going to have another dystopian event. So we are going dystopian crisis if I get through this uh, era first. I don't want to. So I want to slow down my research probably. Drop back in time, pick up old research maybe, maybe. All right. We'll keep the fleet together here and let it heal up some more. I swear I didn't mean to make a dystopia. I swear it was just a mistake. This is the Explorer. Get to Antarctica in two or three turns, I guess. Uh, the Field Marshal loads back into the ship. And I'd like to give him some more experience points. Or can he actually not get a higher tier? We'll have to get him back on land to see. I'm moving to Germany, probably. Okay, we're allies with Japan. Hello, Hiroshima. I do not know if they care about my visiting them. All right, the Northern Sea has not been explored yet. Looking for additional exploration territories. I wonder if it'll be a North Pole, so kind of guessing there will be. Uh, Kaifeng has given us a very small fleet so far. I want to give them one bomb vessel also. Give us three ships to really blam uh, blast our way through. Uh, we can now claim a territory. And I think there are a number of territories I wanted. Definitely. Oh, here's their outpost. I knew there's an outpost somewhere that I wanted to make earlier. It's this coal right here. Okay. Okay. Pioneer guy. Yes. This one was destroyed in the war with the Zulus. I completely forgot where it was. Uh, there's some territory I wanted. It's probably get Gian more territory for something. As always. They need more education. So there's a place for our school, probably. Let's go ahead and do that. Operation, territory claim. I think realistically, I wanted more territory everywhere. That's how it tends to go. So this next turn, we have our Pioneer move one forward, or two forward rather. The turn after, we can then have him make a proper outpost for more petroleum. 1829. Will we have a civil war? Gosh, I hope not. All right. Coal again. Hooray! Hooray, hooray. Field Marshal, head on home. Pioneer, I want to spawn in this location. This is two more turns awkwardly. We can't build on top of petroleum, nor do I actually want to. Explorer. So if it's possible to get off the boat, we'll do it next turn. I'm ready to be so disappointed, by the way. I'm ready to absolutely say, like, ah, oh, I'm sure we can get there, and then suddenly we can't get anywhere at all. Let's bring me Antarctica. I cut them through Japan. You don't mind us. This ship is just checking the north. Right, organization. Hey, another point. We're halfway through organization now. 
also insight, slow gunner stuff. Uh, tenacity in particular we're using to level up commanders, but at this point everything seems pretty, pretty good there. Where'd the Egyptian Navy go? The they attacked once then ran away. Not sure. Okay. Luddite Assault. A third crisis event. They say there's poor working conditions. The workers are putting agitation into the world. The dystopia age crisis is upon us. If our nature controls the future, it will be a dark one. I don't want to control the future. I made a huge mistake. I apologize. Next turn, Buddy can make an outpost here. Is it not possible to land here? Adjacent terrain is land. It is not possible to land in our Antarctica Glacier. Oh, I was so excited for that. <laughs> I thought it was the best thing ever. <laughs> but no, nothing, nothing, nothing. Hey, Sniffles. Every time you view via mobile, it's my stream includes paid promotion. Let me make absolutely sure that's not on. <gasps> <laughs> it's off now. So I had a, a sponsored stream maybe a week ago. And I definitely turned on the uh, paid promotion then. And, uh, yep. <laughs> I forgot to turn it off. So... Good seeing you. I hope you're doing well, and thank you for letting me know my stream is wrong. <laughs> uh, I wonder how people that turned off, because it definitely was saying I was paid promotion for the past, like, week. Oof. You've heard the whole series of paid promotion? That'd be great, wouldn't it? I wonder if I get in trouble for falsely claiming paid promotion. <laughs> uh, it is a Paradox game, it's true. All Paradox games are obviously paid promotions. Couldn't be anything else, obviously, obviously. <laughs> Oh, uh, I feel like a dum dum now. So my current hope is there is at least one location that is um, explorable, explorable. Uh, sure, on the south here. Got some doubts. We'll see. Oh my goodness. I'm kind of wishing they'd have a, a notification. Are you sure you want to go live with additional paid promotion? But I'd probably be annoyed if it did that, if I actually were doing paid promotion every single day. Let's pose. Alright, uh, capital has everything built. We now have the power grid, so we have some power here. Not that we can actually use it for anything, but it's okay. Time for more troops! More troops! Get ourselves the Old Guard Cavalry. We need to create some more leaders for them also. Pay promotion by cities to kill barbarians. Absolutely. Absolutely. I'm willing to do anything for paid promotion. Sign me up for Raid Shadow Legends very, very soon. Year was 1831. And in those days, let's continue moving north to reinforce the German lines. It's a little bit early to be talking about the German lines, isn't it? All right, it is time for Petroleum via Trade Post. Who's it linked to, I wonder? It's linked to Fortaleza. I don't know who I want to send the power to. I'm guessing the capital. So I'm going to do that for right now. We'll see if that works out. Oh! Outpost is going to be castles also. So I think outposts give one access to... Um, the resources, while well, castles are defensive posts. I didn't know how to make castles. I assumed it was some special research I hadn't done. But no, the real castle was inside me the entire time. I think we should make a castle here. And uh, I have a fortified defensive line against the Germans. Absolutely. Very soon we can do that. Uh, I got a bunch of warfare points, so many. So what do we do with the Explorer now? <laughs> uh, I guess we put the Explorer inside of an, a random stack of troops. I guess that works. Very strange, very strange, very strange. 
Uh, so we need a bunch more troops here to fully militarize against them. I think it really is the time for us to create Scad's armies. Is there a Northwest Passage? We must discover. Uh, nothing there. Oh, Luyang. Luyang needs housing. Did I plan to take over land for Luyang to get housing? I can almost guarantee I was. Mm, yeah, I think I want to take this tile over to give Luyang some housing. And you can't export housing, can you? Well, I guess what I'm going to say is eventually we'll run out of growth because we'll have no housing left, and that'll just be okay until we get the mansions. We may have to send some additional uh, coal here to help with the power production. So we get the mansions going. Um, Ocean had so many hills. We have excessive numbers of hills. <laughs> I think earlier game I was desperate for more hills at all. And now, just somewhat less so. This is your first game like this one, you're getting overwhelmed with sanitation. Yeah, so there's an, with the era when you can first launch sanitation, the only thing you can do to fight sanitation is make the aqueducts. A little later, once you have improvement points, you can make the middens, but you will still have sanitation problems until you get running water in your cities. Germany warns me. We've gotten too close to the borders, Germany says. All right, fertilize farm. Fertilized farms cost power. We are supporting the power we need right there for now. Cat. The Germans are aware of what I'm doing. Does that concern me? Maybe. A milling factory get more flour. I hope not having me build things that I don't have the power to build. Oh, they are. They are indeed. The Zheng Zhao has over-improved itself. I have to rebuild the farms now. Oh, am I allowed to build lower tier farms? Or can I only build the top tier farms now since I destroyed that? Uh oh. Let's see. Yep, you can only build the top tier one. Huh. Well, that's less than ideal. So for power station, we need coal. Okay, I'm gonna send coal to Zheng Zhao just to get us power to power another one of the farms. Wait, it's already using coal here. How are you getting coal? And just, oh, it has two power automatically. It has power automatically, and then you can get more power and coal there. Awesome. Okay, I know I have a coal producer in the south. Here? No. Here. All right, so link the coal with, not Rome, with Zheng Zhao instead. Cool. Oh, cool. So they have more power production there now. We're at two of them product uh, power all you need. So now we can mechanize more farms. Possibly. Do they have enough food currently? Need more sanitation. Let me do a lot of sewers. Hey, it's a laboratory. That probably takes power is more knowledge. Sure. They still have more power here. So the milling factory does require power, but that's an upgrade somewhere. All right, this farm can support electricity demand. I don't see anything else to level up right now. At Fortaleza, what can I give you that increases your region level? I don't think there's anything that does so. Except for the things that are inside of the city. We'll see. Alright, Kai Feng rather has made another ship for me. 
So we now have a proper fleet ready to move out to be some barbarians. Kaifeng, you're in good shape. Lots of upgrade. More education, please. This group continues heading to the north of the German lines. The Germans did threaten us. After we have possibly threatened them. I don't know what they're talking about. Oh. Uh, I was going to say there's a uh, fishing location on fire here. But I recognize now I can't do anything with it because it's a vassal's territory. Okay. You all just post up there for now. You all are exploring the south here still? What's this? Did we go around the world? <gasps> I mean, I shouldn't be surprised at all, but it is the case that the map wraps around. In the year 1832, we have discovered <laughs> that the world actually wraps around. <laughs> How great is that? Uh, Abdera, I'd like to give you... You have no power, so no upgrades for you. Yeah, no upgrades for you. Um, I want to give Abdura a town. And so we can grow into the Grand Canyon. Good. And then we get some open land for something else. Some power, especially. Okay. Now, because of the Southern Poles issue, we can't... Go north to south, obviously. And I believe the polls are just kind of empty right now. Hey, we finished research. So let's make the laboratories and so on. Milling, upgraded farms. Notably, the central power building. The 12 power produces one education. No, it gives us 12 power. I apologize for one education. A generator providing much new electricity to a growing nation. Got it. So power station converts coal. Central power doesn't need anything to build it or to support it. All right. What is militarization? Oh, boy, it's machine guns. <laughs> Hello, Germany. Hello, Germany. Reminder spawn pioneer. I wanted to spawn the pioneer in order to make... Um, a castle, I guess, between ourselves and the Germans. Ideally over here. Um, <laughs> our forces in Athens are a level one leader and a man with a gun. Gotta support them a little bit more. I was moving a fleet to the north. I'm gonna have them land here, surely. Okay. Hey, Sack! Friend Sack! Thanks for the five gift subs. How the heck are you doing, my friend? That's really generous of you. Hope you're in a very good day. Hope life is swell where you are, Sack, and thank you for your kindness. Wow. Wow, gift subs. Everyone who got a gift sub. Dark Crystal, Spock Bama, Silly Pseudonym, Thrall and Thol. Thrall and Thol, great names. Do enjoy your emotes for the foreseeable future. Mainly one month. This poor merchant's been trying to unify with Athens for a long time and just can't do so. 1833's upon us now. Massive fleet. It was fights the barbarian fleet. It starts rolling through them. Okay, this is the group that went to Athens. They can get their next turn. This is the explorer. That's what we're doing them. Uh, Yangtze here, still no power. Oh, that's not true, actually. Open slot right there. So the central power may be a building as opposed to a map creation. Power station only consumes coal. It does not consume petroleum. We have nothing to consume petroleum yet, it seems like. We have an open slot. We need food and also housing. With the petroleum here, I believe we can build a mansion. We're fine on power still. And look at it! <laughs> In the year 1833, we started making luxury condos. <laughs> also, I love that we have some green space inside of the desert. 
This is definitely a tremendous waste of money. We have a swimming pool also. It's a lovely pool there. <laughs> Uh, love it, love it, love it. All right, a little more fishing too. Cool. This is not gonna push it to 200 again. 164 though enough can help with the growing too. All right, new pioneer guy. Did they just build the castle there? They may have just built the castle there. Unfortunately, well, we'll build it here next turn. So now we've gone all the way around the world. Let's so head north and see what the uh, rest of the world looks like out these ways. Explore the north side too. Get a view of Egypt. I have two armies sitting next to Egypt. If I want to fight Germany, I probably should not leave those armies there. Germany is now declaring hostilities. Your forces are overextended. We'll do what we must. All right, so Germany is thinking serious thoughts about going to war with me. Huh. Well, I get it. I don't like it, but I get it. This game roughly a paradox sieve. How's the death compared to a relative average paradox game? So if you do exclamation point sieve in chat, you'll get a, a little block on the big differences between sieve in this game. Um, yeah, my sense is on release, there is a decent amount of depth. It's probably not as much as the big old grand strategy games, but it is, it's not so far away. And I can definitely see how this game, if it gets the DLC treatment, the free update treatment, would develop to be as complex as um, a normal Paros game, but I think it's a little bit less complex. There's a lot of depth, though. A lot of depth, though. And, and yeah, it definitely triggers the one more turn initially like Civ did. So it's a it's a good game. I'm enjoying myself. All right. So Jean's pushed out some more troops. Got to keep it up. Unfortunately, everything's taking two turns now. For a while, there, Jean was a one turn. Uh, for troops over and over again. Now it's two turns for troops. Okay. I'm going to give you two cannon now because they're fast to make. Good. Pioneer makes castle. The outpost becomes castle. That's how you do it. Could not figure that one out. Now we know we have a castle. This EI looks, UI looks like this is safe immediately. Yeah. So over the past uh, week and a half, I've been playing this game, and then people have come in and said, we already have Civ at home. It's too darn high. <laughs> I've actually played two or three games in a row recently where there's been some reaction of, isn't this just a worse version of X game? <laughs> Which I find funny. Uh, but I used to find very annoying, frankly. All right, leaders moving north. Go, leader, go. Uh, this should be us discovering the east side of the second continent. Full of barbarians. Barbarians have cotton. That's my cotton. Any game looks even vaguely like Banished. You get a big response every time. Uh, Abdera has a university now, so its education is still not being met. Um, Abdera absolutely needs public schools. Let's check that one out now. Oh yeah, Sack. I think this game is a really good introduction to Paradox games. I know Paradox games, like the Grand Strategy, are absolutely overwhelming. I think if you understand Civ and you're willing to learn a few more mechanics, then this game is really, really good for you. Yeah, absolutely, I think it's a good game to learn some Paradox. But it, it, if you're intimidated by normal Paradox games, this is one that should not concern you. I-M-O. Abdera needs education. The public school is red. There it is. <laughs> all right. More than enough education for now. Good to good. And it's built a power producer also. So we'll upgrade the milling factory. I wonder what our economy looks like now on Abdera. What's this? Books. Books are knowledge. Uh, we'd like to have one more flower. 
We don't have any more wheat right now, so these are mill and farm. So upgrading both of these increases our economy enough to have more food availability. That's all the upgrades for now. Warfare's capped again, so more tenacity. Tenacity giving us the upkeep cost reduction. I can still support so many more troops. Abdera. There's a pretty good shape here. Um, production is 77. So logging camps give bonus to production. Any good you're consuming gives production also, I think. I'm looking for ways to get more production. That's what speeds along the building of troops and such. Do any of these give more production? No. Power, power, also increases the region level. Power grid helps the region level. So any place that's capped on growth, that would help. Museum gives region level also. Cool. The theater gives us more arts. We don't need arts right now. I think I'm gonna have Abdera help with building up a new, a new army. I'm gonna give him the tank for sure. And then support the tank with a couple cannon. All right, Rome is also pretty well built up right now. It needs more sanitation. We'll look at that in a moment. And more housing also. I'm going to give it additional troops. Ooh, no, it takes forever to do that. I apologize. Let's definitely do that. Treasury for more wealth. Seems good. All right, so Rome needs a home. Another town would be good. Uh, we have six more turns though, until we have a town, I believe. We're just saying it's a cooldown of six turns. Because some things get cooldowns, like the recently selected Tenacity is a six turn cooldown. I actually don't know what that's saying. Let's see, we're getting 37.2 per turn. We need about 200 points more. 30 times six is a little under 200. So yeah, I think we'll hit this in six turns. Good. Um, ba -ba -ba -bum, ba -ba -ba -bum. All right, Rome, you need housing, correct? Yeah, housing and sanitation. So bring me another trash heap. Good. It's fine, sanitation. Food is needed as well as housing. I think I talked earlier about trying to make Rome into a, a food producing city, and then I kind of got. Uh, distracted, we'll call it. <laughs> yeah. So, Rome, do you have any power right now? Uh, Rome is not making power. They'd like to have more iron and more tools also to make machines. We have an iron location here. They must have been destroyed at some point. I don't know why that would have been. So, Rome now has raw iron. They'd like to have an iron blast furnace now which will help fix the resource queue. That's a mine. Where's that blast furnace? There it is, cost 30. All right, for right now, then we'll give him just a normal house and then use the other tile for the blast furnace. What else goes here? All right, it's fine, everything except for food. We'll upgrade the, uh, the grassland once we have power here also. All right, Zheng Zhao. Zheng Zhao takes a long time to build anything. So Zheng Zhao, good on luxuries, good on power. Help with more education for now. Capital attack. Athens has a German merchant who's been trying to join it for a very long time. We immediately attack them. Our first act of war, attacking German civilians. Goodness. I need to pull at least one of these fleets back home. And I think I can incorporate Akatan soon. Yeah, Egypt is now declaring hostilities. There's no way I can fight Egypt and Germany simultaneously. Um, we may have made a slight error <laughs> in, <laughs> in attempting to uh, have a little bit of presence on this continent. So, I'm going to pull one group out of here. 
if we lose this territory, it's okay. I want to surrender as fast as I possibly can. Now, wait, why can't you move? Oh, because the um, the balloon's up. Pull the balloon down. Is that a whole turns move? It is. So everyone can move except for the balloon. I guess I'm okay with that. Move the balloon next turn. Okay, how much does it cost to incorporate this fine place? Well, I need a few more turns, then it costs 428. I can't possibly afford that. A good night, Slivers. We'll see you later. I know something stopped streaming about 15 minutes ago, but then Sack gave me some gift subs, and that's a way to keep me streaming way too long. It's an unintentional streamathon. <laughs> yeah, I've never done streamathon, but today, today it feels like one. I gotta stop in about 15 minutes though, because I definitely need to go do some grading. Told the students they'd get their uh, grades back on on Friday, so I gotta finish that out pretty soon. Hello, Canute, how's it going? Alright, uh, so Athens is holding some of my troops that I want to have join this stack. So it's a leader, a field marshal. Wait, it's three leaders. That's absolutely unacceptable. <laughs> So, the Field Marshal Cannon, let's give them some Militia support as well, and one more Cannon. Uh, so the Field Marshal has a whole bunch of Cannon. And I'd like to find a hill for them to live on top of. There's a hill over here, I guess. But heading into the heart of Mip might be a good idea. Let's put them in the castle for now. Okay. Then and then, you are the fleet that's coming east to establish that, yes, indeed, the world is a sphere. How does it compare to Civ? Exclamation point Civ to find out. After explaining that four or five times, I decided it was time to uh, make a command for it, so there you go. My Chungun is in great shape. Everything's good and green. Warehouses help with more production. That's good. Hey, Vera. It's going pretty well today. Thanks for asking. A little bit of a long stream. Only another 20 minutes or so, though. But it's all going pretty well here. All right, Fortaleza is at max capacity right now. If you get a power grid or a museum, it gets more growing abilities. Oh, no apologies needed. Absolutely no apologies needed. There's nothing wrong with asking, you know, what this game compared to. I'm totally fine with explaining it, just not over and over again. <laughs> so eventually you get the command. It's not meant as any slight towards you. You did nothing wrong. It's just a matter of if I say the same words too many times in a row, I feel like I've become robot. And I don't want to ignore people in chat. They don't really go, of course, to ignore the question. That feels bad too. So yeah, I just don't want to say the same shtick over and over again. Uh, this fleet is coming over to deal with Germany. And I might have it land directly in German territory. We'll see. This fleet is trying to find additional barbarian ships. There's one. I wonder if the barbarians be totally destroyed. Because they show up as a faction, correct? Incorrect. They do show up as a player in between my turns. And I know they can spawn new ones. I wonder, if we go destroy all the Barbarians, will they finally stay dead? Is that in fact a thing? Uh, the army at Gion, that we're currently spinning out, does not have a leader. So I'm going to take the groups we have here, and then assign the, assign the Explorer to be their leader. You all will come join the Explorer in a moment. This group posts up here, Hopefully, 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 Egypt leaves us alone. It's not going to happen. Egypt's aptly going to wreck us. We have no walls. <laughs> uh, all right. The hot air balloon can join in, too. The hot air balloon does not do much in the far as, like, defense goes. We'll fly it up, though, so we can see even farther. And, uh, yep. Yep, yep. We're going to get thrown out there very soon. All right. This army's going to stay... In its castle. They have three units to the east. We have one. We're going to reinforce that with the group that we just spawned in our capital. They have one, two units here also. 
our force is longer than largely larger than both of them combined. It's close. We have another army down here. Again, this is a border, but they're not protecting this one. So our strongest forces uh, are to move unimpeded north. Oh, never mind. SNSM also. This is a very awkward border. Uh, we still have a whole bunch more money, so I can produce a whole bunch more troops. I guess Jean will continue doing that eternally. It's going to be the armored vehicle for tanking. It's going to be some grenadiers. Good. Okay, what's around this way? Not much. So we're still allies of both Sweden and Japan, which means if we go to war with the Germans, then Sweden and Japan to also. Or that said, if Egypt attacks us, they have to deal with the people on their um yeah, the people on their island. Namely Japan. Japan's very strong. Sweden is less so. But I wonder if the two of them together can fight off Egypt for me while I try to hold off against the Germans. How many more turns do we get um Machine guns. I haven't seen German machine guns yet. And I wonder if machine guns only get a defensive bonus. I suspect so. I also wonder if there's an upgrade on the uh, the crossbowmen from long, long ago. <laughs> kind of suspecting so. All right. Offload the explorer into the stack. Hey, they have a kind of sort of leader now. They have one open slot still. We'll get more soon. All right, over here, Barbarian's been dealt with. Let's go north. Oh, shoot. This is a fleet I mean to actually move to uh, our territory. This is actually the Marshall's fleet. Yes, he's joining the army of Athens as well. But you're the ones that are still hunting around for more enemies. The west coast is best coast. Or is the east coast? I don't know how coasts work anymore. Matter of perspective, man. Okay, we're pulling out of Egyptian territory here. And next turn, we'll be able to unlock two. Two? Yeah, be able to unlock two uh, social fabric points as buffs to our people. That said, the military one I might want to hold on to. Because uh, I probably, probably need to... Yeah, we're not capped on military. But I want to start using military points to upgrade my people. A little bit here. We can upgrade to a field howitzer? <gasps> <laughs> All right. We have managed to get militarization complete. We have field howitzers, which have 42 attack, 28 defense. We can also have uh, early machine guns. Does bonus damage for the line. Air defense is also, and military bases. On unit build, everyone gets more combat XP. Ooh-wee. Ooh-wee. Uh, I gotta do two more technologies. We go to the Age of Dystopia. I don't want that. But what does Steel do? Steel makes early tanks. The battleship units. A steel furnace and rare earth mines. Um, let's go aeronautics for our initial planes here. The biplane, the biplane bomber, and one free biplane. Absolutely. I have no idea what Germany's been researching, uh, but it can't be these kind of troops. They haven't shown me any of them so far. I think, I think, I think, I think. Oh, they have howitzers now. So they have one howitzer, so they have gone this path also. Uh, in this group, we can upgrade our canned howitzers. And that's all for right now. I don't know what the machine guns can upgrade on. It's not the musketeer, at least. Okay. This is the field marshal. We go to Athens next turn. more tasty tobacco. Okay. No upgrades here. Regard. Down here we can upgrade to Houthers again. And you're 
moving forward also. I should probably reinforce uh, over to the west instead, so we'll cut their territory. I don't understand the animation scene for battles, kind of poorly executed and seemed redundant. So as far as the redundant part, um, there's no guarantees when you attack someone. Um, sometimes you have a 50% chance of winning, 50% chance of draw. And so you can watch them fight it out to see you know, what exactly comes of it and who's going to win, who's going to lose. Um, also, 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 um, apparently the, the graphics are a callback to some older game. Now, I don't know if that's what someone says and they don't want to be critiqued or what exactly, <laughs> but it is the case that's what they claim. It's a callback to an old game. And uh, it's fun enough, I suppose. Uh, we can get our oil well here once we have 38 points. I find the, the combat mechanic kind of charming in a way. I'm not sure it's actually that. If I should complain about how bad graphics it is, etc. But it's kind of charming. Uh, Abdera got us more troops. So look at Abdera's troop stack. As right now they have a tank and a cannon. Okay. How many turns to make the military base? Five turns. Yeah, that's a good move. We need to make the higher tier gunners and so on. So the early machine gun is... does not see what's an upgrade on. Possibly nothing. Unsure. At Jian, we need to get a military base also. So when you're done with the old guard grenadier, up you go. They're definitely now the old guard, given that they are timer two past. I think they join us in the Age of Enlightenment, maybe. Now it's the age of, what is it? Is it revolution still or past revolutions? I think it's revolution still. So revolutions goes up through World War One or so. Yep, revolutions. Sweden's at war with Egypt. They want me to help. Okay, I've joined this war. Egypt has moved their troops away. Again, Sweden is the weakest power. So we could go ahead and march in and start destroying these on our border to weaken them a little bit. We could also go to sea and go take Liverpool from them. Um, I mean, if the Egyptians are not going to have their armies here, we're absolutely going to do that. So everyone except for the hot air balloon get to the water. Okay. And then next turn, we'll hit Liverpool and we should be able to take it instantaneously. And hopefully they'll get Egypt out of their, uh, their war with Sweden. Okay. We finally arrived at Athens. Strongest fleet is here. So we upgrade to early machine guns. It's an upgrade on the, um, the initial gunmen, which we may have none of right now, but we discovered it. And then howitzers will come next turn. For now, though, you stand here. Um, probably destroy the outpost with group first, and then try to pivot north. Leave the howitzers, though, definitely. I believe the fleet here has dealt with more or less any, everyone. I have not seen a German fleet at all. This doesn't mean there isn't one. I just don't know where to be hiding. We haven't really looked in the water that much, but... You'd imagine you'd see the German fleet somewhere, at least defending their shipping areas, but not sure. Sweden and Egypt are at war, as expected, yes. My Kai Fang is in the south, so I don't really want to make additional troops there. Lu Yang is sort of north, and I need food again. Oh, Lu Yang, I believe we spoke about your food problems before. Yeah, you, you just need some fish. <laughs> so uh, we can explore by expanding in a little bit here. There is no growing of potatoes inside of the hills. So they're gonna stop growing for a while. No one will starve exactly, but no more growing. That's okay. Uh, if we give them power here, they'll then be able to upgrade their farms. They have no farms. Good. Good to good. 
We need mechanized uh, fishing, possibly. Uh, I believe that's the last turn for today. It is 2 p.m. my time now. Been live for five and a half hours or so, so I'm gonna go ahead and take off, I think, go do some grading. Tomorrow, tomorrow, back to this one. Tomorrow's a Wednesday here, though we'll be teaching tomorrow. That said, I believe we'll pull the trigger on heading to deal with the Germans. It'll be a glorious thing. Uh, for now, though, I appreciate you very much. Uh, thank you for hanging out with me. I'll see you again tomorrow, tomorrow, tomorrow. If you enjoyed hanging out with us, consider joining us on Discord. We have a nice little community there that chit-chats from time to time about this, that, the other thing. It's a nice place to be. So click that link, maybe so. Tomorrow, more, more. Thank you. Happy April Fool's Day, and goodbye.